Davis Ford in Fulton is built on customer service. It's been a founding pillar of Davis Ford since opening our doors in 1964. We are proud to announce winning the 2022 Ford President's Award for customer service. Davis Ford was the only dealer in Mississippi to achieve this award, marking a record-setting 20th time. Davis Ford would like to say thank you to our valued customers. We wouldn't be here without you and your commitment to us. Guaranteed Bank, formerly known as First American National Bank, is a proud supporter of ICC Athletics. Visit gbtonline.com. Guaranteed Bank, we're more than a bank, we're a community. They say Diet Coke is a mom's drink. Well, you copied her jeans, her spin, her shoes, her scrunchie, and whether you realize it or not, her music. Now, copy her drink. Drink what your mama gave you. Today tastes like staying in. And it never tasted this good. High school seniors, listen up. Your journey at Itawamba Community College begins now. Registration for ICC's orientation sessions is now open. This free, required, and incredibly beneficial event is a must. Discover the ins and outs of campus life, create your class schedule for the fall, spots are filling up fast, so don't miss out. Register for one of our spring or summer sessions at www.iccms.edu slash orientation. This is a place to create your future. And when you get here, you realize you're not alone. You meet new people and make connections, it's not always about knowing exactly where you're going. Sometimes it's about finding your own way. It's working together to build something bigger than ourselves. It's hard work, but lots of fun. We come for the quality education, but we leave with an unparalleled experience. Itawamba Community College, the best start here. Right field, Dre McCray. Center field, Hayden Roberts. Left field, Jackson Lee. First base, Bo Rock. Second base, Jackson Sellers. Fourth stop, Hugh Taylor. Third base, Jared Morris. Catcher, Stone Carter. Pitcher, Ty Wicker. And DH, Ben Davis. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the national anthem.
Davis Ford in Fulton is built on customer service. It's been a founding pillar of Davis Ford since opening our doors in 1964. We are proud to announce winning the 2022 Ford President's Award for customer service. Davis Ford was the only dealer in Mississippi to achieve this award, marking a record-setting 20th time. Davis Ford would like to say thank you to our valued customers. We wouldn't be here without you and your commitment to us. Guaranteed Bank, formerly known as First American National Bank, is a proud supporter of ICC Athletics. Visit gbtonline.com. Guaranteed Bank, we're more than a bank, we're a community. Keep watching. Ugh, okay, where's the remote? Ugh, it's under her arm. I'm gonna go for it. <sighs> so close. Oh, maybe he can get it. Mm, guess not. I mean, can you blame him? We are delicious. Uh, delicious and sugar-free. Delicious and caffeine-free. Yep. Anyway, about that remote. Davis Ford in Fulton is built on customer service. It's been a founding pillar of Davis Ford since opening our doors in 1964. We are proud to announce winning the 2022 Ford President's Award for customer service. Davis Ford was the only dealer in Mississippi to achieve this award, marking a record-setting 20th time. Davis Ford would like to say thank you to our valued customers. We wouldn't be here without you and your commitment to us. Good afternoon and roll drive, ICC fans, as we're just moments away from that guaranteed bank opening pitch here between ICC and Colin here in game one in Fulton. Adam Gore, Dr. Brad Boggs here in the ICC Alumni Association and Foundation broadcast booth is that first pitch across for a strike, and it comes your way at 210. That's a 210 guaranteed bank opening pitch here as is Bankston, Jones, and Comb to schedule us to lead us off here in the top of the first. That pitch goes for a strike. 0-2 oh, now is the count on the shortstop, Bankston. Big swing and a miss and a positive start to the contest there, Brad, as that is our first Renaissance Bank strikeout of the day. And it's Ty Wicker on the hill here for the Indians. Yeah, can't beat that, Adam. I mean, three pitches and, and uh, three strikes and one out already. So uh, you, you hope this trend continues. And I know Ty does, as well as Coach Collier right there. So perfect start for the game right there for ICC thus far on defense. So one away, and that pitch is in there for a strike as well, as this is the center fielder Tucker Jones coming to the plate. We'll give you today's Tupelo Coca-Cola Bobbing Works starting lineups in the exchange of the innings. As there's going to be a ground ball right side, second baseman bobbles it for a second, doesn't panic, tosses it over for the put out, four to three for out number two. Five pitches and five strikes so far, so uh, and two outs. Again, so great start for Ty Wicker coming in thus far, and uh, uh, I'll kind of hit some of his stats here just shortly as he throws his first pitch, first ball of the game right there. Is that one outside? Ty's a freshman out of Oxford. Six appearances on the year, one win, four losses, 31 innings pitched as that one pitch is fouled back for strike one. Does have two complete games, 31 hits given up on 23 runs, Walk 12, 25 Ks, 5.52 ERA. So there's going to be a ground ball to second. Gloves it, gets it across, and throws it over in time. Three up, three down. Go the Wolves there in the top of the first. Want to keep it here and tell you about today's Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works starting lineups. And Dr. Boggs, if you're ready, let's go ahead and take a look at the Wolves. Yeah, we've seen three of them thus far. Uh, got Braden Bankston leading off, playing shortstop. Uh, Tucker Jones batting second in center field. Batting third is Hagen Combe playing first. Cleanup spot, J.D. Weed, left field. Batting fifth, Jordan McKenzie at third. Sixth, Ryland Hemphill is the D.H. today. Batting seventh is Brentley, Brentley Berry at second. Batting eighth, Spencer Wilson behind the plate. And ninth is Isaac McClinty in right field. And as mentioned, we got Andron Bolin on the mound for Colin. That is your starting lineup there for the Wolves. They come in with a record of 17 and 21 overall, five and nine in conference play. And now the Coca-Cola Bottling Works starting lineups here for your ICC Indians. ICC and Coke 
Now that's a winning combination, and Coach Rick Collier hopes he's got that same winning combination put together this afternoon here in game one. Now you got lead off, you got Jude Treadaway at short, batting second, Jackson Suttlemyers playing second. Third, batting third, Stone Collier be behind the plate today in game one. Batting cleanup be Bo Rock playing first. Batting fifth, Ben Davis, who will be DHing. Good to see him back in the lineup yep. today. Uh, batting sixth, Jarrett Morris at third. Batting seventh be Jackson Lee out in center field. Batting eighth be Dre McCray out in right field. Batting ninth, Hayden Roberts be in left field. And as mentioned, we've got pitching today on the mound for ICC is Ty Wicker. And that is your Tupelo Coca-Cola bottling work starting lineups for both squads this afternoon here in game one. ICC comes in with a record of 12 and 20, 4 and 10 inside conference play. And I'm not going to call this a must-win situation, Brad, but it it's a sure as heck need to win uh, situation <laughs> here for the Indians. Of course, the top nine teams make it to the playoffs. ICC two games out of that number nine spot right now. Uh, Colin, Hines, and Delta all one game out uh, from that number nine spot. So the good news for ICC, they do kind of control their own uh, de their own destination the rest of the way out as they still have to obviously play Colin today and still Hines and Delta on their uh, schedule before the end of the season. Yeah, ICC's got to find a way to put together some wins as that's ball one right there. Uh, you're at that time of year here. You're in April, already in April, strong conference play here. Got to get the wins right now and put them together so that way they can make a strong postseason run as that ball is fouled out in right field out there. Ball one, strike one, two. Oh, and that hit a vehicle that, solid. Yeah, and there's – well, they got two white trucks parked out there in right field where they normally back up right there, and I think it got one of those. That pitch is going to miss two and one now as the count, but you heard the oohs and ahs out of the crowd after a loud thud out there <laughs> in right field. So uh, first time we've heard that all season. This pitch is going to be popped up. Shortstop's going to go back, call everyone off, and wait for it, and we'll squeeze it for out number one. That was Drew, Jude Treadaway at the plate. And so now with one out, this is going to bring Jackson Settlemeyer to the dish, the second baseman. Yeah, uh, going back to Andon Bolin, who's on the mound. He's a sophomore left-handed pitcher uh, that's starting today for Cole Lynn. That pitch is driven right back where it came from, Adam. Up the middle, line drive, base hit. Settlemeyer's on it first. Yeah, big-time clutch hit there for Settlemeyer's. And so that's going to be a one-out single there. And, Brad, you keep trying to give uh, <laughs> Bolin stats, but uh, let's try one more time here. I believe these key, uh, teams have come today to play, and that's great. Uh, but Andon Bolin, sophomore out of George County High School, uh, came in today. He's a left-hander, sophomore again, 11 appearances on the year, does have uh, three wins and no losses, 39 innings pitch, giving up 30 hits, 22 runs, 21 walks, as that's ball one to Stone Collier, 36 Ks, good uh, walk to K ratio there, 2.08 ERA, good, good ERA too. Those stats being brought to you by Samstown Market, located right there in the heart of Mantachi. Sam Ferris and all the fine folks out there at Samstown Market, proud to sponsor ICC Baseball here this afternoon. Collier rips this one. Copper. This is going to be down for a double and possibly will score a run here as they're going to wave the runner from first to round third, and they're going to be a throw home. It's going to be cut off, and the Indians take a 1-0 lead off a of Davis Ford double by Stone Collier. Yeah, they come out swinging the bat hot here against Colin and Bowling pretty pretty quickly uh, and so uh, Indians are hot right now again you had Suttlemeyer with that single who was at first and able to score all the way around that was a big time gapper right there in between left and center for Stone Collier just to the uh, right of the 365 mark there and he got a stand up double as you mentioned in RBI now this will be Bo Rock at the plate here for the Indians Rock looks at that pitch it's going to catch the inside corner for a strike oh and one now is the count yeah, you hope this continues again for the Indians. Uh, same with what we had in the pitching on the defense we talked about in the top of the first. Here now in the bottom of the first, you hope this hitting trend continues for the Indians in this strong offensive performance. So Collier at second, pitch coming. This one's going to be fouled off. 0-2 oh, now is the count here to Rock. Yeah, big breaking pitch there. Ed Bo off on his front foot, timing off a little bit there. He was way out in front of that one, just able to get a piece of it. He kind of had to hold back on his swing because he was out on his front foot. Now he's got to protect the plate. So waiting the 0-2 offering here. That pitch, not a bad spot to miss. Good eye on the part of Bo to hold off on that one. 1-2 one now is the count here to the first baseman. 
Yeah, as you mentioned, that was a good pitch right there on the 0-2 count. It really was. It was placed well out there outside. It was outside. Very close. Good eye by Bo. So one and two now is the count. That pitch in the dirt. Runner's going to try to go to third, and he will get there. Nice heads-up play by Collier to advance even closer to scoring position. Yeah, that was a great job by Stone. His heads-up play, as you mentioned right there, the ball in the dirt bounced out from the catcher right there to the right toward the Colin dugout, which enabled Stone even more access to uh, advance to third because it was further away. Had it gone more to the left toward the Indians dugout, he might have held up right there. So good job by Stone, good awareness. Count evens up at two and two. Oh, it's going to hit him. And a breaking ball that did not break. And Bo Rock's going to wear one for the team there. And now ICC will have runners on the corners. Yeah, got a mound visit coming here, too. And so the coach already wanting to come <laughs> out here. And I tell you what, Brad, this is one of the first time in a while that we felt this type of energy out of the ICCs this early in the game. Yeah, uh, you're 100% you're correct. I, I, you know, I know we've, we've called all the home games here this year. And, uh, of course, haven't seen as many away games, but uh, this is the first time that this atmosphere has been this electric, and you're seeing these Indians this fired up here. Now, it is a great day, beautiful day, sunshiny day here. Weather not very hot, not very cold, just to get a little cool crisp in the air, but still a beautiful day out here, and they have come out on fire thus far. Again, hoping that trend continues throughout the rest of this game. Well, no changes made there for... Colin, just a quick visit to the mound brought to you by Guaranteed Bank right here in Fulton. ICC is going to have runners on the corners. We'll see how Colin elects to play this one defensively early on here. Game one scheduled for nine innings, as always, for conference play, as this will be Ben Davis getting his first bat in quite a while as he's missed a chunk of the season and fouls that first one back for strike one. Yeah, cutting down there on the first pitch and uh, – Got strike one on him. Ben does uh, pitch well for the Indians as well. Has not been able to do either right now. He did get hurt earlier and has kind of been out, had to have a procedure done. And so good to see him back out there playing today as he takes a cut at that breaking ball that's kind of out of the zone a little bit and makes contact with it, fouls it off. 0-2 count here. As Brad mentioned, 0-2 is the count. One out. Runners on the corners here for the Indians. They lead it one to nothing after a RBI Davis Ford double by Stone Collier that scored Settlemyers who singled. There's a hard hit ball and it's going to be backhanded. Nice play. There's one going to try to get two and they will. And that is a beautiful little Caesars double play as that one was absolutely ripped up the middle, but a six, four, three double play ends the inning. ICC leads it one to nothing after one complete. We'll take a break and be back with more right after this on the ICC Sports yeah. Network. Ooh, these new Little Caesars Crazy Pops are fun size, and you can eat them anywhere. Wow, they're packed with cheese and pepperoni. Keep those hands at 10 and 2. Check your blind spot. Take delicious Little Caesars Crazy Pops anywhere for the incredible price of only $3.99. Pizza, pizza. Everyone has a unique story to tell. Maybe your story has you performing your new song in front of a crowd, getting to play your favorite sport, or enjoying a horseback ride in the country. At Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our group of skilled surgeons understand your need to continue your story. That is why we are the preferred choice for orthopedic care. Thank you for choosing us. Our story is you. Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Guaranteed Bank, formerly known as First American National Bank, is a proud supporter of ICC Athletics. Visit gbtonline.com. Guaranteed Bank, we're more than a bank, we're a community. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We head now to the top of the second inning. ICC leads this one. One to nothing after an RBI double off the bat of Stone Collier. Jackson Settlemeyer scored. It was an RBI double. As having a little hiccup with the scoreboard right now, but got it going there. One nothing is the score. Two up here for Colin will be the four, five, six batters. Weed, McKenzie, and Hip Hill scheduled up here. 
Brad, you know, we were talking about the energy early here, the, the dugout fired up, the fans fired up, a good crowd out here today on an absolute beautiful day for baseball as that pitch found off for strike one. I won't tell you where this injury all started. Where? With the opening, with the uh, first pitch of the day. Oh, yeah. I mean, who wouldn't be excited about Dr. Case throwing out the first pitch? Is that strike two found back right there? Uh, Ty Wicker doing a good job getting on top, but Dr. Case, the athletic director, dean of students for ICC. I can't go through all those accolades, but uh, played ball here at ICC back in the years and UWA as well. Ooh, good pitch. Uh, throughout the first pitch for ICC today, glad to have him here and his family out there too. Uh, I see him sitting in the stands still enjoying the day. So the one-two pitch, ripped. this one ripped up the middle. That's going to drop yeah. for a base hit. Uh, Actually going to get away, and this is going to go for a double after the error. Well, I was going to say he made the right move. I thought he stopped in time to catch it on the short hop, and I think he saw he wasn't going to be able to get to it to catch it in the air, Adam, uh, and I thought he did, but it just took a little short hop on him there because he was just a little too close to it. So he kind of got a little too close, and it bounced to the side on him, allowing uh, Weed to go ahead and advance to second on the air. Yep. So a hit plus an error puts Weed at second, and now this will be McKenzie, the third baseman, coming to the plate. One nothing, ICC with the lead. Shows bunt, pulls back, takes that one for a strike. Yeah, and you may see that here. Uh, of course, I don't know if they'll they'll try try to square around here and try to advance the runner to third. They're pulled back on that one, so we'll see if he squares around here on second pitch. Did not took that strike two for a strike. Zero and two now is the count here as Wicker. Don't want to jinx him early, Brad, but he has done a good job of throwing strikes and filling up that strike zone here. Yeah, he's come out hot today uh, so far again, so the Indians hope this trend continues. Runner fakes the go there, fakes the steal. That pitch is fouled out of play out there. And, again, you still got an 0-2 count on McKenzie. He's batting 257 on the year, Adam, and uh, does have a 358 on base percentage uh, to his credit this year does have 15 walks that pitch high not a bad spot to miss to see if you can get him to chase one there good eye on the part of McKenzie to hold off on that one one and two now is the count here to the third baseman tying run is at second after a single and a double to start the inning swing and a miss four strike three yeah excellent pitch there by Wicker it was on the outside part of the plate just kind of had McKenzie whiffing at it there so uh, gets the first out of the inning uh, after uh, the single giving that up and then the runner advancing, or actually the runner advanced on the air out in center field. So uh, now that brings up, uh, as you mentioned, your DH. Yeah, Hemp Hill will come to the plate now with one out after that Renaissance Bank strikeout. A curveball in there for a strike. Or no, actually called it a ball. 1-0 mm -hmm. now is the count. Renaissance Bank, they are the bank that understands you. You can find out why by visiting renaissancebank.com. That pitch in there for a strike. One and one now is the count. I'm looking at Hemp Hill here. He's got a 250 average on the year, 438 on base percentage. Uh, does have three hits, so he doesn't see a lot of action, looks like, at the plate as he swings at that one, fouls it back for strike two, one, two count, but uh, does get on base when he, when, he, uh, when he does get up at the plate. So uh, one, two count here. Brad mentioned one and two now is the count. There's one out and a runner at second. Top of the second inning here in game one between ICC and Colin. Hemp Hill, the DH, awaits the pitch. Swings on this one, fouls it back. One and two now is the count. Yeah, took something off of that right there and kind of had Hemp Hill off, uh, off stride there with his, with his normal swing there. So out on his front foot a little bit. So good job by Wicker to mix up those pitches and Coach Collier to mix up those pitches, kind of have him off. So waiting the 1-2 offering after checking the runner. Got it. Swing and a miss for strike three. Yeah, that's a good pitch there again on the outside part. Now, of course, now the, again, the way Number Wicker's one, arm three, angle three. is when he throws, he's got a different arm angle uh, that he can mix in there, and it leads for that ball to kind of have some movement on the outside part of the plate there with that three-quarter action that he's got. So great pitch there by, by Wicker, and uh, Hempfield just wasn't able to catch up with it. So now with two outs and a runner at second, ICC trying to find the exit here in the top of the second. <laughs> Rounder up the middle. That's going to sneak. No, it's maybe stopped. No throw. The runner thought about going around third, slip and fail. 
good decision there at second that time by Settlemeyer to hold on to that ball. If he throws it to first, he's safe. Run probably scores. Yeah, I agree. Uh, good job. Good stop, though, because it, it saved the run, too, when he stopped it. It was hit up the middle, uh, and so it saved the run. Uh, and that was just a clean hit right there. Not able to, but I agree with you, Adam, on, on eating the throw, not making the throw at the first or anywhere, holding that ball, saved a run right there. Now you have a first and third situation with two outs. This will be Spencer Wilson, the catcher here in game one, coming to the plate for Colin, trying to find an RBI opportunity here. Looks at that breaking pitch across for a strike. Yeah, Spencer Wilson coming in. I know, let's see, looking at his statistics, does have five hits on the year. He does have a double uh, coming in today, batting 286, uh, excuse me, on base percentage, 286. So 01 is the count here to Wilson. Runners on the corners. Wicker's pitch on its way, and that one fouled back. Nice job coming to that last breaking pitch, coming back in on the hands on that one. Yeah, it came back in on the hands and, and drew a swing from Wilson. Uh, just too much for him to power that thing out there, just hoping he can get a piece of it with the smaller part of the bat. He was able to and fouled it straight back. Again, 0-2 count here in Wicker's favor. First and third situation. So the 0-2 pitch coming. Grounder left side. And that's going to get through. And that's going to tie us up at one each. Throw to second, not in time. So that was a clutch RBI single there off the bat of Wilson. Well, that was just a good, good piece of hitting right there by Wilson, uh, putting the ball in play on the ground there, perfectly in between short and third. Uh, did draw a uh, dive there from Jarrett Morris at third, but just unable to reach it or get to it at all. So one RBI that does give Wilson an RBI on the day and ties the game up there, Adam. And so 1-1 one, one is the score now. Still two outs. Runners on first and second. This pitch foul back for strike one. Yeah, great job again. Wicker coming out. Throwing strikes still here. We're, this is the number nine batter, McClinty, in the lineup here. Uh, so all the way through the lineup right now for the uh, uh, Wicker seeing the number nine guy in the lineup. Shows bunt, lays it down, and it's only going to be one option. He bobbles it. And that's going to go for an infield single. Got the Indians sleeping a little bit right there. Of course, again, no one expecting a bunt right there, Adam. Um, so Jarrett was kind of playing a little, little deeper than normal, wasn't playing up to see the bunt because, again, McClinty just squared at the last minute. And so uh, Wicker, trying to field his position, went over there. The bad thing is he tried to barehand it once he saw it, took a hop, so unable to make the throw over. Fourth hit of the game there for the Wolves as that pitch missing low and outside for a ball as we flip it back now to the top of the lineup with Bankston struck out swinging in his only appearance so far. ICC trying to get out of this jam with minimal damage done. Ooh. That ball's ripped and guess who? <laughs> Jarrett Morris doing Jarrett Morris things over there at third base as he just cut down a pair of runs on that line catch over there at third. We're going to take a break, hear a few words from our sponsors, including Brennan's Aunt Bank, and be back with more right after this on the ICC Sports Network. Another great Saturday at college football. You're always pushing yourself. There's no time to rest. You keep moving forward. The only thing better than your last accomplishment is your next. What's next? What's next? What's next? So, Allie, what's next? I guess we'll see. Find a bank that's as excited about your future as you are. A bank that asks, what's next? Renaissance Bank, understanding you. If you want to break the rock, you need to make yourself indestructible. If you want to play between the hedges, you need to work out there, up there, down there, everywhere. If you want to reach the win bar, you need to lose sleep, lose count. You need to play every game like you got nothing to lose. That's home. <laughs> that's just like the Ravens. That's just like Pahokee, Florida. Um, that's my second home. I got my degree from there, my first degree, college degree. It's part of my heart, it's part of my soul, it's part of my spirit. And, you know, it's everything. You're the one with Community College, baby. Uh, it's, it's everything. It shaped me up to being a great man because it was part of the journey of me becoming the young man I am today. And um, it's home, man. That, that's, that's it. Like, I can go there and lay my head down without no problems. It'll Woman Community College, the best start here. 
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We head now to the bottom of the second inning. 1-1 one, one is the score here. And swinging on the first pitch he sees. And wow. what a play out there in center field. As Morris absolutely blistered that one. If you're Morris, all you can do is just tip your cap. As he just made a great defensive play. It was a great one there that robbed him of an extra base hit. Exactly what I was going to say, Adam. All you can do is say, hey, hey, man, it's a great catch. Because he did. He blistered that one on the line out there in the gap between right and center and the center fielder out there for Colin running over and just – Tucker Jones made an excellent snag there as uh, that is uh, Jackson Lee taking strike one, but just kind of a leaping grab out there too and able to get it and uh, get the out. So good job. So that pitch misses one and one now as a count. And I'll tell you what, too, if it wasn't for that play by Jones out there, the way he was running and the way the ball would have hit the fence and probably kicked to the left, his momentum would have carried him away from the ball. The left fielder wasn't closing in, right fielder wasn't closing in. That could have been a big time situation there for the Indians to at least get to third, if not maybe even think about flirting with the in the park home run. This pitch foul back two and two now is the count as this is Jackson Lee at the plate here for the Indians. Renaissance Bank scoreboard update. They're in the bottom of the fifth in softball down at Colin. Number two, Colin and ICC doing battle. That score also one to one. Oh, had him out. Just, I mean, had him guessing right there, Adam. Uh, Jackson Lee way out with that breaking pitch. Low too, and I said low, lower in the zone there. And just had him way out on his front foot swinging well ahead of that one. And so uh, that's a big K right there for Bolin and, uh, and Cole Lynn to get the second out of the inning. Big swing and a miss there. This is Dre McCray at the plate. That was the first Renaissance Bank strikeout of the day there for Bolin. As that pitch falls off the table a bit too soon. One and one now is the count here to McCray. McCray comes in today with a 230 average and a 347 on base percentage as he fouls that pitch back. 0-2 is the count here. And he does have 14 hits on the year, four doubles, and he does have a couple of uh, RBIs too. McCray's one of those bats that Boy, well, the Indians would love to see him get hot. Didn't there. Instead, just looks at that one for strike three. And after a great play out in center field, it was back-to-back -back Renaissance Bank strikeouts for a three-up, three-down inning there in the bottom of the second. We're tied at one. We'll take a break and be back with more right after this on the ICC Sports Network. Ooh, rumble. Let's give her a Renaissance replay. Make the right call with Renaissance and get cell phone protection with Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking. Sign up today. $5 for my own money? That's a bad call. Let's give him a Renaissance replay. Sign up for Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking with ATM refunds today. Your phone. You're not going to believe what just... You brought a Coca-Cola with zero sugar? Yeah. Why? Come on, it has zero sugar. Yep. And it's delicious. I don't believe it. Just try something new. You'll love it. This does taste great. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We head now to the... Top of the third inning, going to be the two, three, four batters due up. Jones, Comb, and Weed here for Colin. 1-1 one, one is the score here in game one. I'm Adam Gore, joining the ICC Alumni Association and Foundation broadcast booth by the good Dr. Brad Boggs. And Brad, both these teams have had opportunities earlier, have cashed in and have not cashed in on situations. And good one here in the early goings. Yeah, definitely. That's Tucker Jones, as you mentioned. And uh, I'll tell you what. Coming out swinging, that one's driven to right. I don't think Dre's going to catch up with it. Hits at the bottom of the warning track toward the fence. That's going to be a stand-up double. They're going to hold him up there. So good job by Tucker Jones. They fouled the first pitch out into the parking lot and then came back swinging on that pitch and just dropped it out there over the head of Dre. Dre turned around trying to catch it down, uh, trying Everybody, to catch up with it, unable to. So a good double there by Tucker Jones to lead off the inning for Colin. They got something brewing. Second inning in a row that Colin has got the leadoff runner on, as that was a Davis Ford double off the bat of Jones, and now this will bring Combs to the plate. He grounded out four to three in his only appearance so far. Swings on this one, fouls it back. 
at 0-1 now is the count. Good adjustment by Cole Ann. They noticed that Wicker was filling up the strike zone, so instead of watching pitches, getting behind an the count, they've come out a little bit more aggressive here. Exactly. No, yeah, they're, they're definitely swinging the bats, different from what they were in that first inning when Wicker was there and went three up, three down. So uh, you're definitely seeing a different team at strike two as they swung. Of course, that, that really would have been ball one right there. That was a low in the zone right there, but took a healthy cut at it. Uh, as Comb is the third in the uh, third in the batting lineup here, quickly down 0-2. Swing and a miss pitch. for strike three. Yeah, that's a, just a mirrored pitch right there. Just brought it back to him. Uh, strike three right there, and that's uh, first out of the inning. Well, the batter stopped and came back for a second. Now they're trying to ask if maybe the ball hit the ground but, or ask if he maybe had fouled it off. And so now he's, yeah, he's going to try to see if he fouled it off. And now they're going to bring in the infield umpires here. We do want to remind you of some of our other sponsors of today's action. Fagata's Mexican Restaurant, which is basically a nine iron from Dr. Boggs here on the other side of Davis Ford. Uh, you've got the ICC Wesley Foundation, Prior Morrow Architects, the ICC BSU, Bank of Oklahoma, all proud sponsors of today's action here on the ICC Sports Network. Yeah, I forgot has got some good food down there, Adam. If you've ever been, uh, they are sponsoring even on our scoreboard out there. But uh, definitely good food down there. And a day-to-day -day like this, it'd be you know, if you call a foul ball. Wow. Uh, I was not expecting them to overturn that. Well, either. I mean, because that was so close right there. I mean, it been hard to see. Uh, yeah, I figured so. Coach Carter's yep, going to come go. out. And, uh, that, I mean, because to me, that's a hard one to see, Adam. Yeah. I mean, even if you're out there, the ball never really – You'd have to almost have replay, in my opinion. Yep, yep, yep. But so we're not out there. So, yeah, I kind of agree with Coach Collier on this one. I'm, I'm going to say, yeah, I, I, with them talking so much and mm -hmm. and really, like you said, it was a tough one to call. And really, without replay, I didn't expect them to overturn that one. So I, I agree with you. I mean, you've got two umps out there in the field that are playing. And really, it's the only one that could have saw it was the second base one. That's exactly right, the one at second. And that's deep to see if that ball makes any type of adjustment. And I just, uh, anyway, hard call right there. You got to battle back. And if you're wicker, you can't let this affect you. You got to battle back and, and uh, got, tried to get him to chase that one. Didn't. That's ball one now. So uh, one two count here. Uh, going back on Comb here, who did not get out. So one two pitch coming. That one's going to miss low. Two and two now is the count. Well, he originally was called for a strikeout. He was hesitant to go back as he thought he found the ball off. The umpire called a strike and met on the grassy area and the overturned it, said it was a foul ball. So two and two now is the count. Had him lunging there. He just didn't pull the trigger. So that's ball two. Uh, back to that call. I, I, if I was Comb, I would have made my case about it too. So nothing against yep. Comb, especially if I knew I made the tip. But still, I found it hard that they would have overturned that, even if that was an ICC that was batting at that time. Wicker now throwing. Yep. Oh, that was ball four. I was behind on the count there, so that was my fault. So ball four now, and Comb did get put on base after that uh, call back. <laughs> Strike three, if you want to call it. So that's going to be an important mark to look back at later on in the contest if ICC is unable to get out of this inning with no damage done. But now it's going to be runners on first and second, no outs, and Weed at the plate. He had a single. Ooh. And he's going to blast this one out to right field, and that's going to load the bases. Yeah, they're going to hold him. Line shot directly to right field. Dre McCray coming up, fielding it very quickly there, and coming up throwing. And uh, wisely, Cole the third base coach over there, puts the stop sign up and says, whoa. Uh, plus, you got no outs. You know, so, I mean, if you're Cole Lynn, ain't no point in, there's no point in gambling. Now, what that's going to do is bring the corners in for ICC, uh, hoping to get the double play or at least the lead out there at the plate. But you'd love to get the double play right here home first. This ball is fouled back and goes for strike one. So, yeah, ducks on the pond here for Colin after a double to start the inning by Jones. A what was a strikeout turned into a walk to Combs and we now behind the count 0-2 after a very healthy swing on that one. Yeah, it was high, a little higher, but it was up in the zone. It was a breaking, kind of a slider pitch right there by, by Wicker. You could call it a slider. It could have been his natural motion with that three-quarter arm motion that he's got. Uh, 
he's sitting in a good position right here to get the first out of the inning. Got him popped up behind us, though, Adam, so uh, that one's going to be out of play. Again, your corners, uh, they're still going to be in. Hopefully, they at least want that lead out at home plate. Uh, again, love to turn that double play if they can get home to first. So 0-2 is the count after that foul ball. Bases loaded here for the Wolves. Got him. And he did foul it back, but was held on to that time by Collier. And so that will be a Renaissance Bank strikeout. Second time today that Number McKenzie Ralph has Ralph been McKenzie. struck out the fourth official Renaissance Bank strikeout of the game. Brad Big there because that's out number one. Now the double play can come in huge. Yeah, double play is going to come in. You're still going to have your corners in, but you're going to have your, uh, of course, second and short was already playing for double play depth right there as he whiffs through that one. That was ball one, but he whiffs through that one outside right there. Good pitch again by Wicker. That motion right now, they, they still hadn't picked up totally on that motion. He's throwing well today thus far, Wicker is, and with that motion in that three-quarter and the way that uh, movement that he's got on that ball right now, whether he's even throwing a slider or it's just his natural, that fastball, whether how he's lining it up, whether it's two-seam, four-seam, it's uh, kind of throwing them off some. So that one's outside. That's going to be ball one, one, one count. As Brad mentioned, one and one is the count. There is one out. This is Hemp Hill, the DH at the plate. Struck out for the second out in the second inning. Digs in with bases loaded. Mm. Big, healthy swing and a miss there. One and two now. Actually, he says he got a piece of it. One and two now is the count. Yeah, big one right there. I wouldn't keep anything right now because I wouldn't want anything out of the zone that goes to the backstop, but I wouldn't get him anything in the zone. And they do try to pound one in the dirt that time with the breaking pitch. Good eye by Hemp Hill to hold off on that one. He evens the count up now at two and two. I still wouldn't. I don't know, Adam. Two and two count. I don't know that I would even look. Close to, I've looked close to the zone, but I, nothing that would go to the backstop. But he's been lunging too much. I don't know if he's had it figured out. And that pitch just missing outside. Three and two now is the count. Well, kudos to Hemp Hill right there because, because he did his part. He held up. He didn't lunge it anymore right there. Held back, ran the count to full. Now that forces uh, Wicker to do something different. Fouls this one back to keep it alive. We'll stay at three and two. Hemp Hill at the plate. Bases are loaded here with one out in the top of the third. 1-1 one, one is your score here between ICC and Colin. The first of two games this afternoon. 3-2 pitch and walked him. So that will push the run in and just a tough break there because that outside corner looked like it was there for a second. Just couldn't get the umpire to pull the chain on that one. And so that will score Jones, who started the inning off with a double RBI for Hemphill. And it's now 2-1, Colin. Still only one out in the inning, and bases are still loaded, as this will be Barry, who singled back in the second, coming to the plate. Shows bunt, pulls it back, and that one caught a ball. I would imagine that, of course, the runner didn't take off. It wasn't a squeeze play. Uh, so uh, I don't know what he's – what they were going to try to just lay it down and uh, – get the runner in or what, but no, he's not showing bunt now, and that's strike one. I want to go back, though. I want to give credit to Hemp Hill. He started out with those strikes and just didn't look comfortable at the plate when Wicker was throwing, but then battled back, and it was like he gained uh, gained his eyesight on it better and kind of got a better feel for Wicker's pitches and took the – as that one's going to be hit up the middle. Hopefully this is a double – no, yeah, they're going to turn the double one play. and two. Got it. That was a Little Caesars double play. Heads up there to tag the runner. Four unassisted over to three to get the inning, Indians out of the inning with minimum damage done there. We'll head to the bottom of the third. ICC trails at two to one. We'll take a break and be back with more right after this. Kirk Hub Street is a man of many talents. Not only an athlete and a sportscaster, but also an expert cartographer, an amateur alchemist, a surprisingly gifted poet. What rhymes with encroachment? But his true talent lies in the art of banking. With Renaissance Bank's great products, rewards, and easy to use online tools, every transaction is a masterpiece. You might refer to Kirk as a Renaissance man. But I call myself a Renaissance man. 
Davis Ford in Fulton is built on customer service. It's been a founding pillar of Davis Ford since opening our doors in 1964. We are proud to announce winning the 2022 Ford President's Award for customer service. Davis Ford was the only dealer in Mississippi to achieve this award, marking a record-setting 20th time. Davis Ford would like to say thank you to our valued customers. We wouldn't be here without you and your commitment to us. Well, Brad, we laughed about the last home game we had against Northeast, how it seemed like the game drug on because the catcher was on base or either at the plate each time we had the exchange of inning. But it's happening again, <laughs> as that was the third straight inning or the third straight exchange that uh, we've had the catcher have to get back out there and get his gear on. But moving pretty quick here, though, between uh, Stone and Wilson in between these innings. Yeah, I mean, thus far, I wasn't going to say that, and you probably just tore us up right there. But uh, as that strike one, that's going to be Hayden Roberts. And matter of fact, ICC just now getting to Hayden. This is his first at bat of the day. We're in the top, I mean, excuse me, bottom of the third. He takes ball one, uh, ninth uh, spot in the lineup. Uh, but uh, they've kind of shut down ICC after the first inning. So this is Roberts at the plate with a 1 1 count. Swings on this one, fouls it off. We'll go one and two now. Six hits so far in the contest for Colin. They've got two runs to show for it. ICC, two hits, one error, only one run to show for it. One, two pitch. That went outside, and the catcher <laughs> come up throwing, thinking he was going to get strike three called. But. Well, what he did was Wilson set up outside, and what did Boland do? He hit his spot, and they thought he got the corner, and he just didn't. Great pitching right there. Bowling doing a good job of placing his pitches. Another good pitch right there. Roberts just able to get a piece of it. Uh, so they're, they're pegging him on that outside part of the plate right there. Uh, and just uh, Roberts did a good job of hanging on on that one. That pitch was a breaking pitch up in the zone. Going to be a full count. 3-2 now is the count here to Roberts. Roberts, Treadaway, and Settlemyers do up here for the Indians. And this one hit. blasted, and it's going to get to the gap. Yeah, it's going to be one, as I kind of call it, one of those inside-out swings right there, uh, that lefty versus lefty, and he was able to drive it uh, in between uh, second base and shortstop right there and uh, dropped it out there and center fielder come up and did field it. But uh, good job by Roberts to get the leadoff hit of the inning right there. And uh, so now no outs, and the Indians have a runner at first. And this will bring Jude Treadaway to the plate. He popped up a major league pop-up. That was reeled in by the shortstop and his only at bat so far in the contest. Indians get the leadoff batter on for the first time this game. Breaking pitch. Yeah, breaking pitch that Treadaway couldn't make up his mind on what he wanted to do. Swung late for strike one. Yeah, that's uh, that was tough right there. Again, you got lefty on lefty here with Bowling versus Treadaway. Treadaway's seen him once, uh, but uh, yeah, had him off had him off on that uh, opening uh, breaking pitch. Threw him, came back with a fastball there, kind of a little up in the zone, and all he could do was foul that one back, so 0-2 count. So 0-2 is the count here to Treadaway. Settle Myers is on deck. You've got Roberts, who singled to the gap and left for the first hit, for his first hit of the day. Got him. And again, just that breaking pitch as Treadaway just didn't look comfortable in that at bat. No, I mean, he didn't. And I, and I think... Bowling saw that, and the Colin coach knew that too, and saw it, that there was no comfort level right there, even from that from that first pitch that Treadway just kind of whiffed at, and uh, had him off on that breaking pitch, and so came back with it there for strike three. So this will be Settle Myers at the dish now, breaking pitch that comes in but falls off the table a bit too soon. One and zero now is the count here to Settle Myers. He singled and scored a run back in the first inning. Trying to see if he can get the Indians' bats fired up here in the bottom of the third with ICC trailing it 2-1. to one. That pitch missing low. 2-0 now is the count here to Settlemyers. And Coach Collier choosing not at this point to play any small ball. And, uh, of course, when we had one out, uh, no outs right there or bunt over Hayden Roberts and has not done so with Settlemyers at this point. And he says, Brad, why should I do that when you can line it right over there shortstop, uh, right over the short? and uh, get a single right there and put runners at first and second. There's no need to bunt, Adam. Absolutely. Second hit of the day for Jackson Sellemeyers. I was hoping he would do what um, Julia Shaw did whenever I was talking about bunting in the uh, Northeast game. She hit a home run to dead center. I was like, well, 
come on, she made me look like a fool. It's time for your chance to make Dr. Boggs look like one. <laughs> and he did. And kudos to Suttermeyers lining that out there in the left. So good, clean hit right there. Uh, runners at first and second, one out here. Stone, who had that big double gapper at his last at bat in an RBI, Adam. He takes that first pitch in there for a strike. 0-1 is the count here to Collier with one out. Runners on first and second for the Indians. As Collier dribbles this one, it's going to be a short to the shortstop, only one play, and it's going to be the first, and nearly pulls him off the bag, but the runners do advance on the 6-3 to three put out, now with two outs in the inning. Yeah, got on top of that one. He just kind of got on top of that pitch too much. Very top half of the ball right there when he was swinging on that one. Uh, did not catch it, as, as, as you kind of call it, right there in the zone on that baseball. And so just kind of it's almost like a uh, ping pong swing in a sense where you kind of put that top spin on it. So ground out right there. Uh, gets the second out of the inning with Bo Rock. Up. Rock looks at that breaking pitch. It counts, count, catches the outside corner for strike one. He was hit by a pitch in his only appearance so far. Out in front. And then fouls that one back. 0-2 now is the count here to Rock. Yeah, that big looping uh, or change or breaking pitch right there that he's throwing. Uh, I couldn't tell at that one. I kind of looked up at the last minute where that one was, but it's kind of had the, some of the Indians, especially on our left side of the plate. Bo is a left-handed batter. You had Treadway, left-handed batter, lefty on lefty there. Kind of has our timing off just a little right now. We're out on that front foot, 0-2 count. And fouls that one off to keep that bat alive here. 0-2 is the count here to Rock. You've got runners at second and third. And, Brad, this is, I hate to say it, where the Indians have struggled this season with runners in scoring position. Now you hate to say it all you want to, but it's truth. Uh, as that ball is outside right there. Uh, good take by Bo. Didn't get him to chase one there. But uh, you can say it and hate to say it. I can hate to say it and hate to think it. But they have struggled in this situation. Uh, Coach Collier will tell you the same thing. Rock, that one what in on him to say, yeah, good job of finding a piece of that one and foul it off to keep the count at one and two. Well, he, he caught that one, all right? So he saw that one coming out of the pitcher's hands with that break, and it was that big looping curveball that uh, that uh, Bolin has right there, and so he caught it that time. Fastball outside, two and two now is the count here to the first baseman, Bo Rock. Yeah, good job now by Bo. Now he's seen that, and maybe he's getting his timing down pretty good here. He can drive one. Good take. That pitch, yep. Fell off the table a bit too soon. Boo Birds break out from Colin fans. Cheers countered by the ICC fans. As now the count goes full, 3-2 here with runners at second and third. And that's going to be a walk. Yeah, that was low. Again, Bowling's kind of bringing them, uh, kind of giving the Indians a healthy dose, especially on the left-hand side of the plate. Healthy dose of that uh, uh, breaking pitch that he's got. And uh, it has been effective up to this point. Now the, now the bases are loaded with two outs, and that brings back up Ben Davis, uh, who is our DH. Davis grounded into a Little Caesars double play in his only at bat so far. Takes that first pitch high for a ball. That was the first walk issued today by Bowen. Fastball missing. Runner's not going to be able to go as the ball just basically landed right behind the catcher. 2-0 and now is the count here to Davis. Yeah, good eye by Ben right there coming in. Of course, his, we mentioned uh, his first at bat. This is his first action that he's seen in a little while. Uh, good to see him back in the lineup and got a 2-0 count. And there's a, uh, is that one Goes into the catcher. That's a three, a ball three right there. Kind of keeps bouncing out of the mitt. Uh, yeah, the catcher. Seen, he keeps trying to adjust it, so I don't okay. know if maybe it's something wrong with the glove or maybe just a miscommunication on the call there. 3 0 is the count, and they're going to return the favor of walking in the run there. And so ICC ties it up now at 2 2. Number 12. Yeah, I, I kind of get now. I'm, I'm trying to figure out where that unique. Uh, Pollock is coming from. Uh, I was one of the, if it's in, one of their players or ICC's uh, players, but it's a, it's a unique holler I haven't heard this year coming out of uh, from one of us. Is, this is Jarrett Mars coming up. That pitch missing four balls. So all of a sudden, Bowling struggling right now to find the zone. And again, the catcher. That's something in his eye. Uh, uh, going to, up to his eyes, may have some dirt. This is going to give their. Coach, uh, he's, he's going to make a mound visit. He's going to make a mound visit. Let's take a quick timeout. Hear from Guaranteed Bank and be back with more right after this. Guaranteed Bank, 
formerly known as First American National Bank, is a proud supporter of ICC Athletics. Visit gbtonline.com. Guaranteed Bank. We're more than a bank. We're a community. I'm Lenny Howell, your 2024 ICC Most Beautiful, and you're watching the ICC Sports Network. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like it may be a contact issue there for the catcher. Well, that's the last place you want to drop a contact because <laughs> it's in the dirt. You might as well go ahead and jump that thing. Yeah, and I wear contacts, and I know that. So, uh, uh, And I know how troublesome they can be, too, if you – Get just a little something in your eye right there on them. I mean, it feels like you've got sandpaper in there, Adam. So uh, don't blame him a bit as that is taken right there. That's this is Morris. Right one yep. right there. One and one now is the count. Morris was robbed of an extra base hit on an outstanding running catch in center field in his only at bat so far. One ball, one strike, two outs. That pitch missing low. Bases still full of Indians here. ICC is battled back to tie it up at 2-2. See if they can retake the lead here to the bottom of the third. Ooh. Morris hammers Under. this one deep back. Could it be out of the ballpark? Nope. To the wall? No, just up against the wall. And just missing a grand slam there was Morris. Boy, Colan fans breathe a big sigh of relief there as that really could have broke the ball game open. But instead, 2-2 is your score. We'll take a break and be back with more right after this on the ICC Sports Network. This is a place to create your future. And when you get here, you realize you're not alone. You meet new people and make connections. It's not always about knowing exactly where you're going. Sometimes it's about finding your own way. It's working together to build something bigger than ourselves. It's hard work, but lots of fun. We come for the quality education, but we leave with an unparalleled experience. Itawamba Community College, the best start here. At Little Caesars, get a large custom two topping pizza for only $7.99 when you order online. Wait, did I just say $7.99? Get out of here, this pizza is only $7.99. No way, this is $7.99? You're joshing me. You're saying this pizza perfection is only $7.99? Oh, you're crazy for this. Listen, pirate, stop taking my $7.99 pizza. Choose a large custom two topping pizza for the unbelievable price of $7.99 when you order online. Only $7.99, what? Pizza, pizza. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we head now to the top of the fourth inning. 2-2 is your score after ICC, well, basically Colin and ICC, drew bases loaded walks there in the third inning. So basically back to where we started with the tie contest here. This will be Wilson, McClinty, and Bankston scheduled up here for the Wolves. Yeah, Wilson had that big single, RBI, as last at best, he takes strike one right there from Wicker. Uh, so a uh, big hit right there on his end. But uh, right now you're looking at Cole in with six hits to ICC's four going here in the top of the fourth. As this pitch popped up, center fielder shading his eyes, waiting for it, and will reel it in for out number one. We got a Renaissance Bank scoreboard update in game one in softball, number and it was a walk-off hit. I want to sacrifice fly by Colin, the number two team in the country, to get the two to one win over ICC in softball there in game one. So Indians did battle there with Ooh. one of the country's best as that's going to drop for double. double here as that one was ripped over the head of the third baseman. And that will go for a Davis Ford double. Yeah, McClinty came up there to the, bat, uh, to the plate swinging and just turned on that pitch from Wicker, bats from the right-hand side of the plate, and drove it over a third baseman, uh, over a Morris's head there. Not on the line, but close close enough to the line that it gets down there in the left field, into the shade down there, into the shadows, and uh, easily gets a stand-up double there. Seventh hit of the game as we we'll flip it back now to the top of the lineup, and Bankston, he was robbed of an extra base hit on a great defensive play over at third as that pitch high for a ball. So with one out and a runner at second, that was the second extra base hit of the day for Colin out of the seventh they've had so far in the contest. That pitch missing outside, 2-0 oh now is the count. Uh, 
Colin kind of getting a better read now on Wicker. Uh, not saying that Wicker is throwing bad or anybody any stretch of the imagination. But getting a better read on Wicker here. Uh, and that pitch is fouled out. It's going to get to the parking lot there, strike one. Uh, and you're wondering, of course, ICZ doesn't have anybody up in the bullpen. But, you know, you got a, this is a nine-inning game. You know, game one, nine, goes nine uh, here in uh, Juco. Uh, and so, you know, I'm sure Coach Collier would love to get you know, I don't know how many he's planning to get out of Wicker, but he'd look, well, hit by pitch. Uh, love to get six or seven out of him anyway, but I don't know if that's going to happen now, Adam. <laughs> Absolutely. That's the first time that Wicker has hit somebody today, each pitcher with a hit batter Number in the four, contest. So now with runners on first and second and one out, this will bring Jones, who had that double score to run back in the third inning. The Indians were able to get out of a bases loaded jam with minimum damage done, but now the Wolves trying to get the bats fired up here in the top of the fourth. And, and what I mean by that, too, is the pitch count was staying rather low as quickly as we were getting in and out of innings. The runners go. That was a hit and run double. Uh, and so that does get the runners over to second and third. Great hit and run right there by Cole Lynn. Got it on the first pitch. Fastball right there. Able to turn on it. That does give us the second out of the inning, though. But the runner, runners do advance to second and third. Tell you what, if they don't have that hit and run on right there, that's an easy yes. Little Caesars double play to get out of the inning. So a good time to call that one. This will bring Colm to the plate. He walked his last time up, grounded out 4-3 to three in his first appearance. Dribbles this one forward, and it's going to get through. That's going to score two. As they're going to try to send the runner, the throw is coming home. Uh -huh. The throw is going to be high, and the runner will advance from first to second on the throw. Yeah, so that'll be a single with an E. Uh, be an error on the left fielder out there with uh, to get the double out of there. Uh, so it was a single with the, the only reason you got the double out of the runner advance to second was on the error. So that will be two RBIs, correct? Yes, correct. two RBIs. And, that, and that, Adam, that's, what, that's where we come up with that hit and run being huge a while ago. You mentioned it too. It would have been a double play ball, but that hit and run was huge right there to get those runners over to second and third. This pitch fouled back for a strike. 0-1 oh now is the count. There is two outs here in the inning, and that was a big time play there because that was also drove in two runs to make it a 4-2 contest. Colin was gonna test the arm and it paid off in a big way. And now this one's popped up to the right side. McCray should be able to reel this one in, and he will, but not before the damage was done. Two runs on two hits, one error, and one left on base. We'll head to the bottom of the fourth. ICC's got some work to do. They trail it four to two. We'll take a break and be back with more right after this on the ICC Sports Network. Ankle sprains are one of the most common sports injuries with an estimated 25,000 occurring every day in the United States. Sprains can happen with any sport, including just walking across the yard. Ankle sprains are most common in ball sports such as basketball, soccer, volleyball, and others. As with any injury, your body quickly sends blood to start healing the process, which leads to the swelling. Rest, ice, compression, elevation, known as rice, is a good way to treat an ankle sprain. This decreases the swelling, lessens your pain, and allows your body to heal the injury. Studies have shown that the sooner you return to activity, the better and typically the faster you will recover. Depending on the amount of injury to the ligaments, it may be days, weeks, or even months to return to high intensity sports. Sometimes recovery may be slow, but if it gets better day by day or week by week, you are on the right path. If the ankle seems to stop improving and you just can't get back to your activities, then it's time to come see us at the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Remember, our story is you. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. As we head now to the bottom of the fourth inning, 4-2, four to two, Cole in with the lead here. After a two-run single, as that pitch missing, don't know where, but called a ball. Yeah, Jackson Lee coming in, he did strike. He was a victim of a strikeout, his first at bat. Pops this one up to the right side. Right fielder's giving chase in foul territory and will make the play. That's not an easy play. No, it wasn't, especially you got the sun in your eyes out there. You're battling the sun. Uh, new terrain, new territory there for Cole Lynn. So, excellent job out there by um, uh, McClinty out there in right field to make that catch in foul territory to get the first out. That pitch just a bit outside, 1-0 now is the count here to McCray. He struck out looking on 
Three quick pitches to end the second. It wasn't a very pretty second inning as the Indians didn't have a solid at bat as that pitch two nothing. So the score right now is four to two in favor of Colian after two runs in the top of the fourth. Is that pitch in there for a strike? Good frame job to get that one called. Two and one now is the count. We're gonna have a disagreement over here, I think, before the day's over with and might have a fight because Laney's disagreeing, but Cameron she says, no, I've got it right. Laney, I want, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need you to behave yourself, Laney. <laughs> McCray gets under this one and drives it. This could get over. I don't mean it does. The guy under it, I mean, it's like if this was one of those sky high home runs because you get under it and you're like, all right, is it going to travel on far enough? And I mean, it kept going, it kept going. There's no wind blowing out right now. And it kept going, it kept going. And that's what we've talked about all season, you and I. McCray has that power. He does. And there he puts it on display again. Indians cut the lead down to a one-run lead now for Colin. Well, as you said, that one was just hit in the air and just really didn't look like it was going to be a routine fly ball. But as you said, no win. It was able to get out of the ballpark. And that's a big hit there. See if that could spark the Indians here. As now they make it a one-run contest. As this is now Roberts at the plate, takes that first pitch for strike one. Yeah, good pitch by Bolin right there for strike one on Roberts. There's that breaking pitch coming back in there for strike two. Bolin's got good, and we've talked about that. He's got good location. He's got good pitch management right there. And uh, that breaking pitch is nasty, especially on these left-handers. Roberts turns on that one right at second. That's going to be the first, uh, excuse me, the second out of the inning. So four to three for those of you scoring at home to retire Roberts. And now we'll flip it back to the top of the lineup here in Jude Treadaway with two outs and nobody on, but it was the solo home run off the bat of McCray that's made it a one-run contest here in the bottom of the fourth. That mm. pitch, wow, caught the outside edge. Four strike one. Yeah, I mean, they're setting up a lot on Treadaway and these left-handed batters on the outside part of the plate, and they're pitching them out. That one was set up out there, too. That was a fastball on the outside part of the plate, setting him up right there. He got a piece of that one, drove it to, uh, out foul territory down the left field. Uh, you better be, if you tread away right now, you better be, you might want to look at that breaking pitch. No, I'm my bad. He threw fast outside. He had him off on that breaking pitch, his second at bat. So we'll see what he comes back with. The boat. Yeah, so not a bad spot to miss there with the pitch to throw away. One and two now is the count here to tread away. And even with the frame job, that one was still outside. Two and two now is the count. Everything they've thrown to Treadaway thus far in this at bat has been out on the outer part of the plate. Comes back with that breaking pitch, just hung it too far on the inside part of the plate. And so now Treadaway, good job running at the full. Fell behind 0 2 now, waiting the 3 2 pitch. Ooh. And wow, tough to hold off on that one, but he did and gets ball four call. Only the second, or excuse me, third walk of the game for Bowen, and now this will bring up trouble in Jackson Settlemyers, who is two for two on the day with a pair of singles and a run score. I'm kind of shocked they didn't. He didn't see more breaking pitches right there. The pitching chart, if they went back and looked at it, he had him fooled his second at bat, throw away with those breaking pitches, and basically caved him on that as Settlemyers swings through strike one. But he saw only one breaking pitch, and all the rest of them fastball. Yeah, Settlemyers tried to put that one at my house. He swung so hard at that one. <laughs> 0 1 now is the count. Two outs and a runner at first. Got Pops it. this one up. Shortstop's going to drift over. Second baseman calling him off, but shortstop says, No, I've got it. And he does reel it in for the third out of the inning. But not before the Indians able to score one run on one hit. And no errors, one left on base. We played four, cool in four, ICC three. We'll take a break and be back with more right after this on the ICC Sports Network. Kirk Herbstreet is a man of many talents, not only an athlete and a sportscaster, but also a skilled swordsman, a master chef. Needs more lavender. A wonder at word games. Two tries. Every time. But his true talent lies in the art of banking. With Renaissance Bank's great products, rewards, and easy-to-use online tools, every transaction is a masterpiece. You might refer to Kirk as a Renaissance man. But I call myself a Renaissance man. If you want to break the rock, you need to make yourself indestructible. If you want to play between the hedges, 
You need to work out there, up there, down there, everywhere. If you want to reach the win bar, you need to lose sleep, lose count. You need to play every game like you got nothing to lose. and try new Little Caesars Crazy Puffs. They're four fun-sized puffs packed with cheese, pepperoni, and sauce at only $3.99. We need to go try these new Little Caesars Crazy Puffs right now. Stop doing it! Try new Little Caesars Crazy Puffs for only $3.99. Pizza, pizza. Welcome back. That was my first time seeing that Little Caesars commercial, and that was a little wild there as they <laughs> want the pizza puffs, and they punch it and jump off the ramp at the ocean. I've never seen it, but it sounded good. And little Caesars, you know, I think you still owe me plenty owe, from last year. I owe you like twelve pizzas from last year. I'm, I'm, I'm going to eventually. I'm eventually going to. Uh, I'm eventually going to get caught up on that. <laughs> so it's going to be the five, six, seven batters to quickly change the subject here in the <laughs> top of the fifth inning, as it'll be McKenzie, Hemphill, and Barry scheduled up. As it's still. Wicker on the hill here for the Indians as that first pitch missing for a ball. McKenzie, pair of strikeouts on the day. This is that pitch high, 2-0 and now is the count. Kentucky, number 17, Kentucky, 7-0 seven, uh, uh, oh, seven, oh, on number 13, Alabama, on the top of the eighth. Wow. Yeah, that was fouled out into the parking lot. Ole Miss, Arkansas, this will be the third of that. Arkansas has won two of the three thus far, bottom of the fourth. Nothing, nothing. Vandy up five to one on LSU. You know, LSU's had wow. a tough stretch right there. That's going to be ball three, three right there, yep. three and one. LSU's, they came in, and everybody's thinking LSU's yeah, the this, team to beat. This is the year. And man, they just, they've had they've a tough a stretch. Yeah, and that's going to be strike two right there. It runs the count back to full, but LSU's kind of run into some tough matchups. So now the count goes full three, two here to McKenzie. Pitch on its way, rounder, and it's going to be the third, scooped up, throw across the way, and that records the out, five to three. It's one of those, if I hit the ball to Morris, or to the left side of the third Everybody baseman against ICC, I'm just walking straight to the dugout. I'm not even going to waste my time going to first. No, I mean, you just might as well just, like you say, go ahead and go to the, go to the dugout. Morris is going to swallow it up down there no matter what, and he's going to throw you out. So, he's the... Excellent defensive star here. Uh, that's strike one here to uh, Hemp Hill, the DH. But uh, great defensive plays he's had all season here for the Indians. Hemp Hill 0 for 1 of the day. He did draw a bases loaded walk his last time up as that pitch fouled out of play. 0 and 2 now is the count here to the DH Hemp Hill. And I know everyone at home is wondering what is Notre Dame doing today. Well, they haven't played yet. It's 430 as that ball is out of the zone right there. Couldn't get him to chase it for ball one. They got number two Clemson the yeah. other day at 430. So. Clemson climbed up the rankings, too, because they were 10 last week. Mm -hmm. So they got hot. And did they play yet? What did you know what happened to them yesterday? If they uh, won? I, don't I think we lost. I think we're 0-2 on the series, to be honest with you. Oh. As that pitch fouled out of play, we'll stay at 1-2. and two. But... They did lose, lost seven to three yesterday. Here, Notre Dame. We, we're not worried about Notre Dame baseball <laughs> right now, Brad. What we're worried about is my Pirates. Well, and I'm gonna get to that. I'm gonna give you your fair share of that yes. time here in a little bit. I've been yes. looking. So. <laughs> That's what I'm, I'm I, like. I was praying. I was like, Lord, please let, let us play today, <laughs> dear. While while we're while we're playing today. And oh, I'm gonna get to it. <laughs> I just hadn't got to that point yet. We, but uh, you, you're right. Yeah, uh, that's Notre Dame's down. Uh, or they did lose yesterday. Uh, college baseball in full swing right now in SEC and D1. And that pitch is high right there, 2-2 two, two count. So as Brad mentioned, 2-2 two and two is the count here. This is Hemphill. We mentioned Drew bases loaded walk his last time up. 4-3 to three here in the top of the fifth. That one in the dirt, 3-2 and two now is the count. The Dogs uh, State took game one from Georgia yesterday, and they don't play till later on, oddly, tonight. They got a, I think it's a 7 o'clock first pitch. That must be televised to look tonight. But that's a big win. It is, SEC yeah. Network. Yeah. That's a big win for State to knock off Georgia, especially get that first win. Is that one in Starkville? Yeah, they're at the Dude, so they need, they came back home as 
Swings through that one for strike three. Gets a K right there, second out of the inning. Uh, but, yeah, State probably just ready to return home. They've been on the road. They played A&M the on the road. They played Florida there. on the road. And uh, looking forward, I know, to return back to the dude. That was the fifth Renaissance Bank strikeout of the day for Wicker. Two outs now, and this will bring Barry to the plate. Barry is one for two in the day, hit into a Little Caesars double play, as that's going to be a grounder to the shortstop. Picks it up, zooms it over, six to three for a three up, three down inning there for the Wolves. We'll take a break. Let's hear from Little Caesars and be back with more right after this on the ICC Sports Network. At Little Caesars, get a large custom two-topping pizza for only $7.99 when you order online. Wait, did I just say $7.99? Get out of here! This pizza is only $7.99! No way! This is $7.99? You're joshing me. You're saying this pizza perfection is only $7.99? Well, you're crazy for this. Listen, pirate, stop taking my $7.99 pizza. Choose a large custom two-topping pizza for the unbelievable price of $7.99 when you order online. Only $7.99? What? Pizza, pizza. Kirk Herb Street is a man of many talents, not only an athlete and a sportscaster, but also a maestro of the clarinet, a famous speed solver, piece of cake, a noted cheese connoisseur, Limburger. But his true talent lies in the art of banking. With Renaissance Bank's great products, rewards, and easy to use online tools, every transaction is a masterpiece. You might refer to Kirk as a Renaissance man. But I call myself a Renaissance man. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We head now to the bottom of the fifth inning. Game one scheduled for nine here in conference play. Four to three, Colin with the lead. In this one, we head now to the bottom of the fifth. Collier, Rock, and Davis scheduled up here for ICC. And Brad, your thoughts on the game so far? We got eight hits of Colin. Got five for ICC. Uh, some timely hits. Uh, got great pitching on the mound, too, in my opinion, from Wicker and Bowling. So it's just been a great all-around duel as that strike one to Connors with that breaking pitch coming in left on the right. But uh, a great duel thus far uh, coming into the game. And uh, it's kind of moved a little quicker than we thought. And don't want to jinx it as Collier pops that one up on the right side. First baseman's camping under it. Second baseman's going to come in and say, I got it. And uh, gets first out of the inning. But... Uh, Indians came out a little hotter at them than normal, and I'm not, that fire has kind of faded. faded a little. You know, we had that fire when Dre hit that home run. So we'll kind of get that fire back that we were seeing in the first inning. Yeah, a whole lot of chatter, everything going on in the first inning, but it is gone quiet as that pitch finds the outer edge for a strike here to Rock. Rock is officially no at bat so far here in game one as he was hit by a pitch and then walked. And he takes that one for a ball. One and one now is the count. Yeah, and talking about it, you know, uh, Cole Lynn's lineup there, one one batter away from being through the lineup. Is Ooh, that, that one on? It, it hit him. him. He's going to say, no, uh, no, no, no. He no, said no. go, then he said don't go. But I was like, well, I got my shoulder over there. I don't know what you want me to do. Uh, but if you want me to get back up at the plate, I'm going to make I you mean, pay. If I'm Rick, I get the umpires to talk about it because we saw strike three be called a foul ball. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and check this guy at uh, first and check the guy at third. That one's gonna be ripped, but foul down the line. Up in the zone right there, he left that hand, that curve ball up in the zone right there. Bowling did on bow, and I really don't think he needs to do that too much, and he he will pay if he does that. For sure, two two is the count, got him. and just got him crossed up on that one. And that's going to go for a Renaissance Bank strikeout, second out of the inning. And that is going to be the fourth Renaissance Bank strikeout of the day here for Bowling. Yeah, came back with a pitch there, just took something off of it on that outside part of the plate. Uh, had been on the inside, working the inside part right there, and then came back with an out and uh, just got both. And breaking, that was way out. Yeah, breaking pitch that hangs up on the outside. 1-0 now is the count here to Ben Davis. Davis is 0 for 1 today. Did draw a walk with bases loaded, so he's got an RBI, and that's going to be a fair ball. It's going to be a double. This is going to be a Davis Ford double here for Ben Davis. Yeah, great piece of hitting. 
similar matches the one that uh, I think we saw from Isaac McClinty mm -hmm. uh, for uh, back in the uh, fifth in top, excuse me the top of the fourth for Colin just a line shot over third base right there close to the line not quite on it and it finds its way into the shadows out there in left field and a good stand-up double there for the Indians. Well, right now for the Indians we talked about it two out hitting has escaped them all season long will it be a fine time for Morris to find his first hit of the day robbed of a extra base hit in his first at bat swings on the first one center fielder stays put but now we'll go back and squeeze it for the out so once again the Indians put a runner in scoring position but can't get anything going we played five here in Fulton it's 4-3 Colin we'll take a break and be back with more right after this on the ICC Sports Network. High school seniors, listen up. Your journey at Itawamba Community College begins now. Registration for ICC's orientation sessions is now open. This free, required, and incredibly beneficial event is a must. Discover the ins and outs of campus life, create your class schedule for the fall. Spots are filling up fast, so don't miss out. Register for one of our spring or summer sessions at www.iccms.edu slash orientation. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is what we anticipate, what we work for, what we want to improve. At Itawamba Community College, we offer the courses, pathways, and the training that can help turn your vision of tomorrow into a reality. So why wait? Your tomorrow can start today at Itawamba Community College. The best start here. I'm Lenny Howell, your 2024 ICC Most Beautiful, and you're watching the ICC Sports Network. Welcome back. Now as we head to the sixth inning, ICC and Colin doing battle here in a important conference game. If both these teams want to make a push late in the season to try to get one of those final nine spots for the playoffs, well, it starts today. And so ICC's got some little meat left on the ball in here. We're in the top of the sixth. Colin leading it four to three. It'll be the eight, nine, one batters due up. It'll be Wilson, McClinty, and Bankston scheduled up here for the Wolves. Pitch. That first pitch in there for a strike. By the way, we do want to welcome all those watching in support of the Wolves today. Uh, get a chance. you got two hardworking SIDs down there at Colin. You've got Kevin Kaiser, who is the sports information coordinator. And in her farewell season, Miss Natalie Davis, she has been the longtime SID down there at Colin. She is hanging it up at the end of this season. And I know that she's going to enjoy some time off chasing grandbabies and doing some uh, shopping. I think she, she likes to do the um, the antique shopping where she goes out and kind of resells them, you know, kind of like, uh, what's the American Pickers type thing? So, Coach uh, Paul used to do that. Yep, so uh, Natalie, a good friend of mine, wish her well as she retires at the end of the season. But do make sure you thank Natalie and Kevin for all the hard work they do. <laughs> well, bring and, it back. And that one's in there for a strike. Yeah, come on back now, brother. Come on back. And so he actually called it a strike yeah. before he started walking down the walking down the first. So full count right there to again to Wilson the catcher uh, is it, uh, you know not so fast. Better hope the umpire has a good uh, sense of humor. If I say if anything close might have caught it, but then does end up drawing the walk there. So now this is this is trouble, Number Brad. Five, as this five, is five, McClinty two for two on the day had a double. Scored his run his last time up, also singled in his first at bat. Yeah, that big double he hit, uh, we mentioned. Uh, and so he's batting in the nine hole here for the Wolves, and uh, they've got the leadoff on base. There's a breaking pitch in there, catching the inside part of the plate for strike one. I'm trying to look. This is, they, Colin's done a good job today. One, two, Come three on innings. One. Three out of the six innings in the leadoff runner on base is that's going to be a pop-up to the shortstop for out number one. That's a big out because McClinty's been a tough out today. Yeah, big out right there, especially with the leadoff runner on base. Now the Indians can set up and hopefully try to turn two on this. you got a right-handed batter up here with Brandon Bankston coming up. Braden, my bad. Braden Bankston, my apologies, uh, coming up here for uh, Colin. Bankston was hit by a pitch. 
He was robbed of an extra base hit on a great play over at third, and this one is going to be a foul ball and nearly caught by the pitcher warming up in the bullpen down there for ICC. Yeah, nearly catching. It looks like we've got uh, – well, I don't know who we got down there. I thought I knew, but I don't. I'm just kidding. 16, I believe is who oh, that is. Uh, if it was Yearwood. a Yearwood then. So 0-1 is the count. It's this pitch sky to the right side. McCray drifting over, drifting over, and makes the play on the line for out number two. So two away now they after that leadoff walk, and this will bring up Tucker Jones, who had a double back in the third to start the third inning, actually, and he did score and run. He's one for three on the day with that double. Yeah, good job there by Wicker to come back after after that walk. Uh, Lena walked to Wilson there, so to get the second out. That pitch in there for a strike. 0-1 now is the count here to Tucker Jones. Wicker still throwing strikes and got, it's still good to see him getting ahead in the count. I don't know what that pitch count is at this point. That's a slider coming in. Yeah, That's it's gonna, gonna drop. Well, they thought about heading to third, but a nice job there by Settlemyers to quickly get out there and not throw it in, but look the runner back to second. That is gonna be the second hit of the day for Number Jones. 30, Hagen, Cone. And now this will be Cone coming to the plate. He had a two run single in his last at bat. He's also walked and grounded out. Yeah, Cone, like you said, had that big hit his last at bat. And of course now the, uh, Colin has a runner in scoring position there at second. So uh, two outs though on the inning as that one's driven to right field. Dre McCray setting up under that and going to get the out. So the Indians get out of that inning with no damage done as we'll now head to the bottom of the six. ICC trailing this one four to three. Got to get the bats fired up in this one. And if they try to rally, we are scheduled for nine here in game one. Back with more right after this on the ICC Sports Network. So when are you going to give me back for the pizza? Oh, personal foul. Let's give him a renaissance replay. Make a successful handoff when you transfer funds to friends and family with Zell and the Renaissance mobile app. Let's give him a Renaissance replay. Make the right call for 24-7 roadside assistance and sign up for Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking today. Another great Saturday at college football. You're always pushing yourself. There's no time to rest. You keep moving forward. The only thing better than your last accomplishment is your next. What's next? What's next? What's next? So, Allie, what's next? I guess we'll see. Find a bank that's as excited about your future as you are. A bank that asks, What's next? Renaissance Bank. Understanding you. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we head now to the bottom of the sixth inning. ICC trailing it four to three, as it'll be the seven, eight, nine batters who up Jackson Lee, Dre McCray, and Hayden Roberts. ICC's got six hits, two errors, nine hits, no errors for Colin so far here in game one. As this first pitch fouled out of play for strike one here to Lee. Yeah, SEC love here in the bottom of the six. Love to get the leadoff runner on Jackson Lee. Kind of had a tough day at the plate thus far. Be good to turn it around right here as that's ball one, one one count here to Jackson. So one ball, one strike. The count here to Lee as we start it off. As this one jammed him, popped it up, and it's going to get out of play. One and two now is the count. All right, this is a bat the Indians would love to start getting hot this time of year. Yeah, it's just one of those, you know, sometimes you, you go through those point in times, you just got to find that way to get that hit and uh, break out of that slump. And that right there is a way that you could do it, and he, he beats will. it out. And that's that sheer determination, because what that was was a ground ball, folks, hit in the hole there at short. Shortstop made a great play on it. He came up, he backhanded it, fielded it. Jackson Lee with that sheer determination ran it out and got that single. 
Yeah, that's one of those that off the bat you could easily have been like, man, I got out again. But instead, he hit it, took off running off contact, and was able to beat it out. And that's what it takes sometimes to hit that bat, started heating back up your way. So now this is going to be McCray coming to the plate. He had that solo home run his last time up. The Indians would love to see him duplicate that one here as ICC trails at 4-3, to three, bottom of the six, no outs, and a runner at first. And I'm sure they're referring back to the pitching charts here to see what pitch he threw. And when Dre hit that long ball, as that was a breaking pitch coming in for strike one, and uh, they're probably going to say, let's not throw it there again. Avoid anything that looks like this pitch. At first pitch across for a strike, 0-1 is the count. Runner at first. That pitch missing low, 1-1 one one now is the count here to McCray. It is strikeout looking in a... Not one of his best at bats in his career here at ICC. That was to end the second in his first appearance. And when you hit a home run the way it did, you kind of make up for it after that. Yeah, you kind of lose track of what happened that first at bat. That's ball two. Good eye right there. Good patience on the on the uh, part of Dre coming back here and uh, after hitting that home run and uh, being patient at the plate. No point in, in uh, being uh, being in a hurry here or trying to swing at something that's not your pitch. 2-1 is the count. Runner at first. And they're going to say that one caught the outer edge for strike two. Two and two now is the count. That one did, uh, you know, I'm going to say it did catch part of the outer part. Uh, Dre kind of lunged a little bit there, but I uh, don't think his timing was set up well enough to make con contact on that one. That pitch going to miss low and inside. Three and two now is the count here to McCray. Well, the Indians would... Take a walk or a hit in this situation. Anything to get the merry-go-round to start spinning here. Waiting the 3-2 offering. Instead, it's going to be the soft toss over to first, kind of half-hearted toss over there. Runner is able to get back without any issues. So the count still 3-2 here to McCray. And got him looking at strike three. Came right back in on that same pitch he had strike one on and a good pitch call there. Yeah, you can't take it when you got uh, two strikes on you. I can understand taking it with one strike, or no strike, excuse me, for strike one. You can't take that pitch when you got two strikes on you. You got to guard the plate. You got to uh, do what you can to protect it and then uh, not get strike three. So he did, and uh, that's the first out of the inning. That was the fifth Renaissance Bank strikeout of the game. Renaissance Bank, find out what's next by visiting renaissancebank.com. Big, healthy swing and a miss there by Hayden Roberts. He's one for two of the day. A single, a run score, and his last time up, grounded out to second. Yeah, swung through that one. Uh, wasn't able to get the that timing just right on that one to catch up with that pitch. 0-1 count. That pitch missing low and outside for a ball. One and one now is the count. I couldn't get him to chase that one outside of the zone, so good eye by... Hayden Roberts, who did single in the uh, bottom of the third earlier, as you mentioned. So, waiting the 1 1 offering here. Tying run at first. This one ripped wow. and off the shortstop, and that's going to hit and got to get back to second. Yeah, that's a, that's a hit. You know, uh, yep. that, that's a hit. That's not an error. That's a hit, folks. That was stung. And uh, second baseman just did a great job to block that one up because had that one gone out in the outfield, you'd been looking at um, you'd have been looking at uh, Jackson Lee making it to third, although he is in scoring position. Now Jackson was making that turn at him to try to get to third. He kind of stumbled yep. over second base, held him up there too. So I, I still think it was a good idea to hold him anyway. Yeah, you heard the thud off the ball as it hit the second baseman over the mic there, so that was absolutely blistered. Is that pitch missing low and outside for a ball? This is back to the top of the lineup here in Jude Treadaway. Treadaway 0 for 2 with the walk. He'd like to see Drew, uh, Jude here kind of put something together and get that first hit of the game. Drive this run in, it's a second and tie the game up. Looking at that pitch the whole way, it's low for a ball, 2 and 0 now is the count. Coming into the day, you know, Jude had the he's got the lead, leading batting average on the team. He's was batting 358 coming into the day with a 422 on base percentage. 
hasn't had that so far. They've kind of had their number. He was on base once today. That pitch counts, or excuse me, finds the outer edge, goes for a strike. 2 1 now is the count. Again, Boland's kind of had his number. You know, there again, he did kind of, he's kind of, he, he walked that uh, last at bat, but he kind of, he's had his number here. He didn't see many curveballs his last at bat. We've got a 2 1 count here. Uh, umpire says, nope, too low. So, yeah, that one falls off the table a bit too soon. Three and one now is the count here to tread away. Runners on first and second here for the Indians. One out, bottom of the six. 4-3, Cole in with the lead. ICC trying to rally. Game one scheduled for nine innings. And that's going to be a walk. Yeah, good eye right there. Good patience by Jude. Taking that pitch, knew it was outside part of the plate. Wasn't going to, uh, out, off the plate, excuse me, was not going to be called a strike. And so draws that walk, loads the bases. Now you come up with Subtle Myers, who he's had two hits on the day. Yes. Right? We're going to have a visit to the mound here, and they may have a pitching change coming up here for Colin. Bases full of Indians, 4-3. Colin with the lead with one out here in the bottom of the six. We're going to take a timeout and be back with more right after this. Guaranteed Bank, formerly known as First American National Bank, is a proud supporter of ICC Athletics. Visit gbtonline.com. Guaranteed Bank, we're more than a bank, we're a community. as First American National Bank is a proud supporter of ICC Athletics. Visit gbtonline.com. Guarantee Bank, we're more than a bank, we're a community. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We do have a call to the bullpen being brought to you by Guarantee Bank right here in Fulton. New pitcher in the game here, Brad. It looks like that's gonna be number 37, Lucas Harrington, a right-handed pitcher. 5'9", 188, out of Southside High School in Louisiana. Take a look at some of the numbers on him. A freshman coming in, like I said, right-handed pitcher, uh, also infielder for uh, Colin. Has 10 appearances on the year on the mound. Uh, does have a two wins, no losses, 27 innings pitched, as that is high for a ball. High for a ball, ball one. Uh, excuse me, I was looking down. Uh, 33 hits on 21 runs with uh, 18 walks as that one is popped up down the right side. Going to get out of play out into the parking lot. So he does have uh, 18 walks uh, given up, uh, and he does have 18 Ks. So his equal right there does have a 5.67 ERA coming into today. One and one is the count here on Settlemeyers. Those stats being brought to you by Samstown Market there in Mantachi. He's going to step off and let the runners back. He's got a little trouble with Settlemeyers at the plate. That's not the guy you want to get welcome the to middle. the game. It's wow. happens right up the middle. And hold on, there's one play. Can they get two? Oh, no. oh my goodness. What a play there at second. <laughs> he just went directly through the legs, and the second baseman made the sliding effort. Brentley Berry with possibly one of the plays of the year. Did, did, hold on, did, did the did – the, did the ground ball go through the legs yes, of the pitcher? it did. I thought it did. Okay, just yes. making sure. <laughs> and, boy, I tell you what, we talked about that's not who you wanted to be welcome to the game. Well, when your defense makes a play like that, that was big time there. 4-6-3 for the Little Caesars double play. Let's hear from Little Caesars and be back with more right after this on the ICC Sports Network. Ooh, these new Little Caesars Crazy Pops are fun size, and you can eat them anywhere. 
Wow, they're packed with cheese and pepperoni. Keep those hands at 10 and 2. Check your blind spot. Take delicious Little Caesars Crazy Puffs anywhere for the incredible price of only $3.99. Pizza, pizza. They say Diet Coke is a mom's drink. Well, you copied her jeans, her spin, her shoes, her scrunchie, and whether you realize it or not, her music. Now, copy her drink. Drink what your mama gave you. Today tastes like staying in. And it never tasted this good. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are now to the top of the seventh inning. Beautiful Little Caesars double play to end the bottom of the sixth and get Colin out of a jam. They still lead it four to three here. And Brad, we've seen quite some great defensive plays this afternoon. Yeah, and unfortunately, what I was going to say too is a lot of them have been by Colin because yeah. ICC has thought, well, I mean, that was another one of those where you just tip your head and say, great play as that's ball one right there uh, coming into JD Weed in left field, who's had a couple of hits on the day. But Great, great defensive effort here today by Colin and the Wolves. Yeah, J.D. Weed on the day. He singled in his first two at-bats. He did score a run. And he also flew out to right to end the fourth. And it's 3-0 right now is the count so quickly ahead of the contest. And, Brad, I see the bug you're swatting at. Well, it was he a, just it was, refused to leave. It felt like it was a dragon that was on my head. <laughs> I don't know what it was. He squared, and that was ball four, so four straight balls there. Of course, ICC does have somebody warming up. I think it's Yearwood in the bullpen. That's going to draw a mound visit from Coach McCrory. As Adam, we need to get something up here to get this dragon out of the press box. Yeah, it's that time of year where bugs start to come out. You know, the weather it gets warm, it gets cold. They get kind of angry because they don't know if they want to stay hibernating or if they want to stay up my nose. Yeah, stay up your nose. But that one, <laughs> yeah, I, I saw it. It's about it's about the size. It's it's legit about the size of your hand <laughs> that was what, attacking you that time. It was getting me. I mean, it was, I was fearing for my life for a few minutes there, and. Uh, Cameron over here wasn't going to do anything to help me. I, I saw it. Like, she was just standing there laughing. Or not yep. really standing there laughing. She was just sitting there laughing, laughing at you and wasn't going to offer any help no. whatsoever. No help. <laughs> <laughs> You're on your own is what she said. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it, it could have been the most awfulest animal or human being coming in here. And Cameron was just like, you're on your own. I'm sorry. That's what it is. Every man for herself is what she says. Yeah, she said, I gotta, I'm, I'm over here doing my job. You take care of yourself. <laughs> I mean, it, it literally picked me up and toted me toward the window a few feet there. And she's, she's like, ah, you're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> she, she had all the faith in the world in you. <laughs> well, they left Wicker in, uh, even though we do have a uh, yearwood, I think, in the bullpen down there, but left Wicker in at the moment. This is McKenzie at the plate, shows bunt, bunt pops it up, and there's only going to be one play, and that's going to be the first. Ooh. And then they nearly throw it away, and they're going to say he is out. He's out of, is he out of both paths? Or? No. So, I think he got the tag. What he got? Yep. I guess he got the tag on is what they're saying. So that is going to be a sacrifice bunt being brought to you by the ICC Baptist Student Union, as this is going to be Sawyer Dunn coming to the plate now and Number batting in place of Hemp Hemphill. So Dunn will come in to bat with one out. Sacrifice bunt did work as it advanced the runner to second as we're going to have a visit to the mound here and probably going to have a change. So let's take a quick timeout. This call to the bullpen brought to you by Guaranteed Bank here in Fulton. Guaranteed Bank, formerly known as First American National Bank, is a proud supporter of ICC Athletics. Visit gbtonline.com. Guaranteed Bank, we're more than a bank, we're a community. Your knee is a complex joint with many components, making it vulnerable to a variety of injuries. Some of the most common knee injuries include fractures, dislocations, sprains, and ligament tears. 
Many knee injuries can successfully be treated with simple measures such as bracing, rehabilitation, and exercise. The other, other injuries may require surgery to correct. At our injury clinic, we commonly see meniscal tears that occur during sports. Tears in the meniscus can occur when twisting, cutting, pivoting, or being tackled. Meniscal tears may also occur as a result of arthritis or aging. Just an awkward twist when getting up from a chair may be enough to cause a tear if the meniscus has weakened with age. The most common symptoms of meniscus tears are pain, stiffness, swelling, catching or locking of your knee, the sensation of your knee giving way, and, you, and if you are not able to move your knee through its full range of motion. The RICE protocol is effective for most sports-related injuries. RICE stands for rest, ice, compression, and elevation. Remember that at the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our story is you. Guaranteed Bank, formerly known as First American National Bank, is a proud supporter of ICC Athletics. Visit gbtonline.com. Guaranteed Bank, we're more than a bank, we're a community. And welcome back as we do have that call to the bullpen being brought to you by Guaranteed Bank right here in Fulton. Formerly known as First American National Bank, Guaranteed Bank. New name, same great service at Tommy Chamley and all the fine folks out there at Guaranteed Bank. You expect each time you go out there. And Brad, let's talk about the new pitcher in the game here for the Indians. Yeah, Tyler Yearwood coming in uh, today, uh, freshman out of Houston, Tennessee, and uh, does have his sixth appearance on the year. He's got a 2-2 two and two record. 26 and third innings pitch, giving up 17 hits on 14 runs, has walked seven, 13 Ks, 2.39 ERA, as that one finds the outside corner for strike one. As we mentioned, this is Sawyer Dunn at the plate, his first appearance of the day here. It's that breaking pitch, couldn't quite turn over enough. One and one now is the count. And so both pitchers uh, for uh, Bolin and Wicker go six in the third today. They do. Both of them. Actually, the run on second still belongs. Squares the bunt. Can't get it down. He fouls him. Yep, so the runner at second, which is J.D. Weed, who walked and got there on a sacrifice bunt, that one still belongs to Wicker. So now one and two now is the count here to Dunn after that failed bunt attempt. Awaiting the one two pitch here from Yearwood. That one just muscled up too much outside. Two and two now is the count. And mentioned Dunn is pinch hitting in this game at the point. Uh, he's got a 208 batting average coming in. Uh, does have 10 hits on the year, one of those being a double. So waiting the 2-2 offering here from Yearwood. Breaking pitch and still just can't quite get on top of it. That one drifts outside. Three and two now is the count. Well, you can't aim those breaking pitches. You know, you can't. You got to throw it. You got to get out there and throw that. And so uh, kind of, you know, running the count to full. Kind of looks like he's aiming that one and not able to get it back and catch that outside part of the plate. That one he threw better right there. That one did kind of come back in. Of course, Dunn on it right there, fouled it back. So it does uh, uh, end up being still a full count here to do it all over again. So as Brad mentioned, we'll stay at a 3-2 count with one out and a runner at second. Cole in trying to pick up an insurance run here in the top of the seventh. Game one scheduled for nine. As that pitch is going to be called low, and that's going to be a walk. Nice at bat by Dunn. It was. Yeah, it was a fastball. He came back from with the fastball there over the plate, though, but it was low. So that's a walk. And, again, one out now. You do have you still have your runner in scoring position there at second, but now you've got also a runner at first. Uh, so the double play is back in order for the Indians should they get a ground ball in here. And you've got uh, Morris in on the corner there at third. And that's going to him. Going to turn it at them. There's one. Can they get two? No. Yes, they do. Boy, Colin fans do not like that one. And I can understand why. Five, four, three on the double play to get the Indians out of the inning with no damage done. Now they're going to talk about it uh, over there, too. And that conversation fell on deaf ears as <laughs> the first base umpire is going to just put his hands on his hip, let him say his part, as we'll take a break and be back with more right after this on the ICC Sports Network. Everyone has a unique story to tell. Maybe your story has you performing your new song in front of a crowd, getting to play your favorite sport, or enjoying a horseback ride in the country. 
At Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our group of skilled surgeons understand your need to continue your story. That is why we are the preferred choice for orthopedic care. Thank you for choosing us. Our story is you. Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Ooh, these new Little Caesars Crazy Pops are fun size, and you can eat them anywhere. Wow, they're packed with cheese and pepperoni. Keep those hands at 10 and 2. Check your blind spot. Take delicious Little Caesars Crazy Puffs anywhere for the incredible price of only $3.99. Pizza, pizza. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. That was the third Little Caesars double play turn today. Two by Colin, one by ICC. And had a little bit of a conversation. Carry on through that uh, exchange of the inning there as the first pace umpire pretty much let the coach from Colin say his part. You can just tell by his body motions that he was not going to overturn that play or even bring in his, uh, his uh, counterparts to help him even talk about it. No, and, and actually the uh, player for uh, K. Lynn that Cole Lynn was on the bases, that's ball one, was actually talking to our other umpire over here too after the play uh, down the third base side here. So I don't know. I mean, he's not going to have anything to do with it because it's going to be this guy's call or whatever. Yep. So anyway, a lot of conversations. And that's ball two and nothing overturned. And we're, we're here now with Stone Collier up to bat. Collier looks at that one. It's in there for a strike. Two and one now is the count. Stone doubled. It drove in and run his first at bat and then grounded out to short and popped up to there second. Go. And that one's going to get through for a base hit there for Collier. Yeah, took that fastball on the outside part of the plate there at him and just drove it where nobody was. And when I mean drove it, it was hit very solid between first and second. Didn't even uh, have anybody give a chase after it. Now you got to run it first and uh, no outs, bringing up your cleanup hitter with Bo Rock. Bo's been hit by a pitch, he's walked, and he has struck out as we'll have a visit to the mound here. Uh, they're going to bring somebody in. And looks like we're already going to have a yep. change. So we're going to change. We'll have a guaranteed bank call to the bullpen. We'll take a break and be back with more right after this. Guaranteed Bank, formerly known as First American National Bank, is a proud supporter of ICC Athletics. Visit gbtonline.com. Guaranteed Bank, we're more than a bank, we're a community. This is a place to create your future. And when you get here, you realize you're not alone. You meet new people and make connections. It's not always about knowing exactly where you're going. Sometimes it's about finding your own way. It's working together to build something bigger than ourselves. It's hard work, but lots of fun. We come for the quality education, but we leave with an unparalleled experience. Itawamba Community College, the best start here. High school seniors, listen up. Your journey at Itawamba Community College begins now. Registration for ICC's orientation sessions is now open. This free, required, and incredibly beneficial event is a must. Discover the ins and outs of campus life, create your class schedule for the fall, spots are filling up fast, so don't miss out. Register for one of our spring or summer sessions at www.iccms.edu slash orientation. Guaranteed Bank, formerly known as First American National Bank, is a proud supporter of ICC Athletics. Visit gbtonline.com. Guaranteed Bank, we're more than a bank, we're a community. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We do have that Guaranteed Bank call to the bullpen as it's going to be number six, Kobe Gollett. Apologize if I'm saying that name wrong. As Brad, you'll take a look at some Samstown market stats on the new pitcher. Yeah, Colby comes into the day with, like I say, he's a sophomore right-hander, uh, 12 appearances on the year. Uh, got a one, uh, three wins, three losses. Does have two saves, three complete games. Uh, so he's a starter for them at times. Uh, that pitch missing outside for a ball. Uh, so and that's kind of that's why I'm looking at these numbers here, and I can tell that he's a starter because uh, he's got 53 and two-thirds innings pitched, giving up 52 hits, 29 runs, uh, 16 walks to 68 Ks, Adam. Wow. 16 walks to 68 Ks. You heard that right. Is that strike one to bow? And 3.35 uh, ERA, excellent K-to-walk ratio. 
But you think it might be like a bullpen day for him to be able to come out and just get X amount of pitches and see if he can get some outs here for Colin. As Bo wants to lay down the bunt, there's only going to, excuse he's me, going. he's going to go to second. And the throw to first is not in time. So that'll be a fielder's choice. And get the lead out, the, the lead runner out in uh, Stone. That is not what you wanted right there. They were trying to advance the runner on the sack, but uh, just got to uh, Gala in time that he was able to turn around and see that he still had an opportunity to get Stone at second to throw it down there. An excellent defensive play there by um, Colin. That pitch missing low and outside as this is Ben Davis who doubled in his last at bat. Bo Rock will reach on the fielder's choice. That pitch missing low, 2-0 now is the count here to Ben Davis. Yeah, Ben had that big double his last at bat and also has an RBI on the day when he was walked. So, uh, love to see a big double right here. And this one hammered, and Brad, he may have answered it. No, a great running catch out there in left field on the line out as that one was just a extra bite of Wheaties away from getting over his head and going for a double. Yeah, uh, great job of hitting right there by Ben. Had that pitch coming in there and uh, great bat speed on the part of Ben Davis right there. Uh, making contact, great contact with the left fielder out there for Cole Lynn, which was uh, J.D. Weed, able to run it down, track it down to get the out. Second out of the inning is first pitch swing, and that one's driven out to right field. And uh, if McClinty, McClinty playing up a little shallow right there, able to come in. And that one was not able to drop, so the leadoff hit Adam does the Indians no good. Yeah, that was Morris, who again is very aggressive at the plate, swinging on the first pitch he sees there and flies out to right to end the inning. We played seven, scheduled for nine, Cole in four, ICC three. Don't go anywhere, folks. Back with more right after this. Davis Ford in Fulton is built on customer service. It's been a founding pillar of Davis Ford since opening our doors in 1964. We are proud to announce winning the 2022 Ford President's Award for customer service. Davis Ford was the only dealer in Mississippi to achieve this award, marking a record setting 20th time. Davis Ford would like to say thank you to our valued customers. We wouldn't be here without you and your commitment to us. They say Diet Coke is a mom's drink. Well, you copied her jeans, her spin, her shoes, her scrunchie, and whether you realize it or not, her music. Now, copy her drink. Drink what your mama gave you. <laughs> Today tastes like staying in. And it never tasted this good. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we now head to the top of the eighth inning. As it'll be Wilson to start us off here. Brad, 4-3 is the score. ICC, it's been the tail of the tape all season. They've had their opportunities, just can't cash in on them. Yeah, another one of those times, you know, again, where we get that leadoff guy on, and uh, that breaking pitch is going to hit him. Uh, so that's going to be a leadoff walk to Spencer Wilson, who was did walk his last at bat. This is a hit by pitch. Uh, so not, again, what you wanted. Uh, for the Indians, uh, and we were talking about how the Indians get that leadoff batter on and can't get them around and can't score them with no outs. And so, again, that's what happened to the Indians in the bottom of the seventh, and now you follow that up with a leadoff walk. They're going to get a pinch runner in. That's going to be number seven for uh, Colin. Adam, uh, you got to get a name on that one. That is going to be Freeman coming in to run. Okay, he's out of Terry, Mrs., uh, excuse me, Hillcrest. Christian, Terry, Mississippi there. Uh, so they're going to try to put a little speed on with here in the bottom of the seventh to try to get that run in with no outs. And McClinty up now who has doubled on the day. And yes. if he does that again, that run scoring. Well, he popped up to short in his last at bat, but he is two for three on the day with a single and a double. As Brad mentioned, he's also scored a run. Shows bunt, lays it down, it goes foul for strike one. Yeah, so they may, uh, they're going to try to sack him over here, looks like, and uh, get that runner at second with, and have one out potentially unless they, McClinty is able to 
lay it down good enough to beat it out because you got Morris playing in, creeping in there for the bunt at third. Shows bunt, pulls it back, takes it for a ball. One and one now is the count. A good job there by McClinty to pull back on that one and still another opportunity here to get the bunt down and get the sack down for Colin and the Wolves. So 1-1 one, one is the count here to McClinty. Pulls back, takes that one for a ball. 2-1 and one now is the count. Yeah, great great job there taking those breaking pitches because that's the that's a hard one to bunt. Get that ball down uh, good and solid right there, but great job of taking that, pulling back. Not really getting a huge lead over there at first either. Takes that bunt. That one came on the inside, Adam. Did it foul him off? Uh, I mean, he's found it brushed him back. And uh, McClinchy says, I'm good. Uh, I'm good. Uh, just kind of got, I don't I guess it got him at any point. He got out of the way because he's not headed to first or trying to go to first. It was just one of those that, you know, just kind of one of those that they square and just kind of got away from Yearwood. So they're going to say he fouled it off. So two oh, they did two. Say, yeah. oh, he did say he fouled it off. Yeah, okay. that's what I was waiting for the home plate umpire and finally heard him call 2-2. Two, two. Okay, good. Okay, so now the bunt should be out of play here uh, as Yearwood checks the runner over there at first now. And so I would think that's going to take the bunt off with a 2-2 count. It took him forever to show yeah, I didn't. what he <laughs> called there because I was, I was like, it could have gone either way. Is that pitch going to miss low for a ball? 3-2 now is the count. Yeah, it could have gone either way, and I'm glad you were paying attention because I was just sitting there running my mouth So because uh, I sure wasn't paying attention. That does run the count to full, though. So 3-2 now is the count. Yearwood getting set to deliver the pitch. Got him. Strike three. Great job coming back with the fastball to find the zone there to get the strikeout, the first strikeout of the game there for Yearwood. And now we'll flip it back to the top of the lineup here with Bankston with one out and a runner at first. Yeah, and, uh, of course, those of you are at, uh, at home, you still got time to get out of here to the ballpark today. Beautiful day. And I'm just down getting a whiff of some of those nice burgers that BSU's cooking them back there. And the, uh, that's ball one. Uh, and... Uh, Sound they just they really smell very tasty, Adam. They do as get a chance you do come out here. Of course, when you do purchase something from the ICC BSU concession stand, it goes towards their uh, future mission trips. Is that pitch in there for a strike? So it's a great cause to come out and support and uh, great food to eat as well. Absolutely, great cooks back there. So one one is the count here to Bankston. Goes runner goes early and. That's and did he get it? No, he got him. Just got him. I, I don't want – I mean, normally if you go early like that, you got a first and third situation. You're normally not going to take off that early because you got a first and third. You're trying to get – draw the run – or draw the throw, excuse me, from the pitcher, maybe get a run down, get this runner at third. He left extremely early. Of course, all the pitcher had to do here would was step off the back of the mound. Then he could turn around and throw. Couldn't get him to chase that one, so it's two, two and two one, one count. Yep. But uh, great job of the Indians to get McClinty, uh, excuse me, not McClinty, the pinch runner out right there for the second out of the inning. There's a hard hit ground ball. Shortstop scoops it up, throws it over. In time for the unconventional three up, three down inning of the Wolves there in the top of the eighth. ICC still trails it four to three. Got to find some bats with Lee, McCrary, and Roberts due up in the bottom of the eighth. Back with more right after this. So when are you going to give me back for the pizza? Oh, personal foul. Let's give him a renaissance replay. Make a successful handoff when you transfer funds to friends and family with Zelle in the renaissance mobile app. Let's give him a renaissance replay. Make the right call for 24-7 roadside assistance and sign up for renaissance rewards extra checking today. Davis Ford in Fulton is built on customer service. It's been a founding pillar of Davis Ford since opening our doors in 1964. We are proud to announce winning the 2022 Ford President's Award for customer service. Davis Ford was the only dealer in Mississippi to achieve this award, marking a record-setting 20th time. Davis Ford would like to say thank you to our valued customers. We wouldn't be here without you and your commitment to us. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We do have a Tupelo Coca-Cola bottling works position change 
here for Colian as entering the contest to catch now is going to be number 12, Brayden Evans. Evans is a sophomore, listed at 6'2", 216. Out of Florence, Mississippi, went to Discovery Christian as he will come in as the Wilson was ran for, so that lifted him. So now a new catcher in the game here for Colian. Absolutely. And uh, Jackson Lee at the plate for the Indians here. She takes strike. I'm sorry. I, no, I was kidding. He no. does not. He takes ball one. I thought he did too, to be honest <laughs> with you. He had that big single his last at bat. Hopefully that's going to continue to produce. And uh, that's strike one right there. One and one count. And maybe uh, bat will stay hot for Jackson. He has led off the fourth, the sixth, and now the eighth today. That pitch missing low. Two and one now is the count here for Jackson Lee. Lee, McCray, and Roberts scheduled up here in the bottom of the eighth. Indians would like to go ahead and find a couple of runs here, not have to see if they can walk it off in the bottom of the ninth. But the main thing is, need to get at least one here to tie it up. Yeah, at least to get one in this inning. That was kind of, that was on the inside, kind of got him on the small part of the bat, and he was able to just muscle it out to second ground ball there. So uh, easy out for Cole Lynn. So one away now, and this is going to bring up Craig McCray, who had a solo home run. That was back in the fourth inning, but he's struck out twice looking. Nope, we don't have a, and so now we have a new yeah. batter coming in. This is going to be number nine, Brock Ware, coming to the plate. So Ware getting a chance to come in to bat here. He's somebody that can hit for power as well. He has incredible bat speed. If you are have watched ICC baseball games before, you already know what I'm about to say now. He is a third-generation Indian. Brother played baseball here. Sister played softball here. Matter of fact, I think I saw where his parents are on the road to watch softball today, so they might be tuning in and watching along the way or listening while watching some softball. At first pitch outside for a ball, 1-0 is the count here to Brock Ware. And Ware bats from the left-hand side of the plate there is Gollett is a right-hand pitcher, and that is strike one tagging that outside part of the plate. That fastball is, so you got a 1-1 one -one count here with one out. Again, Colin leading 4-3 to three on that pitch right there. He's going to foul that one back behind here for strike two. So one and two now is the count here to Ware. As Brad mentioned, there's one out here in the bottom of the eighth. Cole Lynn leading this one four to three. One, two pitch. This one's flared out to the left side. Left fielder is going to be able to hmm. run underneath it just in time to collect that out. Boy, I tell you what, Brad, we've seen two or three plays today out there in the outfield by Cole Lynn that's robbed ICC of at least a hit or not extra base hits. Yeah, and that's one again on that. I mean, yes, it's an out, but if you're Coach Kyle, you're not shaking your head on that one because it's a line shot left field. Cole Lynn playing great defense right there and uh, able to – uh, as soon as the, the bat uh, hits the ball, they're moving out there in the outfield. That's ball one to Hayden Roberts. They're moving on it and making great defensive plays, and that's the second out of the inning. Roberts, two of three today with a pair of singles. Was that pitch, wow, hmm. called a strike. That one, well, it painted the corner of the batter's box. So a break there, one and one now is the count. This pitch popped up left side. Left fielder puts his arm up. Don't know if he sees it. Does find it last second and collects it out. Three up, three down go the Indians. We'll head to the ninth. ICC trailing it four to three. Back with more right after this on the ICC Sports Network. They say Diet Coke is a mom's drink. Well, you copied her jeans, her spin, her shoes, her scrunchie, and whether you realize it or not, her music. Now, copy her drink. Drink what your mama gave you. Today tastes like staying in. And it never tasted this good.
Just get a large custom two-topping pizza for only $7.99 when you order online. Wait, did I just say $7.99? Get out of here! This pizza is only $7.99! No way! This is $7.99? You're joshing me. You're saying this pizza perfection is only $7.99? Well, you're crazy for this. Listen, pirate, stop taking my $7.99 pizza. Choose a large custom two-topping pizza for the unbelievable price of $7.99 when you order online. Only $7.99? What? Pizza, pizza. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we head now to the top of the ninth inning. ICC trailing at 4-3. to three. For Colin to be the 2-3-4 batters due up, Jones, Comb, and Weed. Yeah, we had volleyball on the road playing a spring matchup today, yep. and so seeing them come back in and... Yeah, uh, we were totally confused because we Cameron, knew they... <laughs> Cameron, like me over here, I, I, Adam did great and, and recovered well for me last inning. That one's lined out to right and that's going to be a heck of a grab wow by unfortunately that, Blair. yeah unfortunately that was just outside our view hopefully Raphael might have got that one on camera so that's going to be a nominee for our water play wednesday presented by renaissance bank but uh, we look up and see this bus coming in of course adam's been telling you we got uh, softball playing at cool in today which is south of jackson and we're like golly it's our bus driver really can get back fast, can he? I was going to say, Mike needs to tell me his shortcut. Because <laughs> if you can cut four hours off a trip before a game's even over. Oh, that is lined. And guess who? Yep, Jarrett Morris down at third. Just hit it to the wrong person. So two big outs right there for the Indians here in the top of the ninth. And this is what, this is what they need. Uh, not a lot of pitches and uh, two quick outs. That is going to bring up J.D. Weed, though, who does. He's been on base three times today, Adam, with two singles. Yeah, two for three with that walk as he walked the last time up. Trying to spark a two-out rally here. Swings on this one, pops it up. Rock going to give chase over in foul territory, and that's exactly what the Indians needed there. Three up, three down. Can ICC find some magic in the bottom of the ninth? One to tie it, two to win it. We'll find out as we'll take a break and be back with more right after this on the ICC Sports Network. Everyone has a unique story to tell. Maybe your story has you performing your new song in front of a crowd, getting to play your favorite sport, or enjoying a horseback ride in the country. At Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our group of skilled surgeons understand your need to continue your story. That is why we are the preferred choice for orthopedic care. Thank you for choosing us. Our story is you. Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. High school seniors, listen up. Your journey at Itawamba Community College begins now. Registration for ICC's orientation sessions is now open. This free, required, and incredibly beneficial event is a must. Discover the ins and outs of campus life, create your class schedule for the fall, spots are filling up fast, so don't miss out. Register for one of our spring or summer sessions at www.iccms.edu slash orientation. Welcome back as we head now to the bottom of the ninth inning. ICC trailing it four to three here in game one. As that first pitch load for low for a ball. One, two, three batters up, Brad. This is where you want to be right now if you're the Indians. There's going to be a dribbler. Second baseman gets it. And that's going to be a low throw, but a nice dig to get the out four to three. Yeah, it is what, where you want to be uh, with the Indians lineup, uh, agreed. And, uh, of course, first out right there. So, need desperately for Seth Jackson, Suttle Myers here, who is next at bat to put together and try to get together one of those hits that he displayed. But first pitch swinging, not a lot of patience on that, and fly it out to right field. Yeah, two quick outs there. So that's just a routine fly ball out to right field. And now this is going to be Stone Collier coming to the plate. With two outs, Indians, Brad, got to have a hit here. Well, and that's where you gnash your teeth. I'm, I'm just going to be honest with yep. Coach Connor, you're gnashing your teeth a little bit right there. In the ninth inning, you know you got to have one run. You need patience at the plate, where, however you can get a base runner. We should not be swinging at first pitches. Stone couldn't catch up with that fastball, a little high, and, well, swung at that first pitch. As soon as you said it. I, I, I mean, again, I'm going back to baseball 101. You should not be swinging at first pitches and hopefully trying to draw a walk. But that one's that's grounded to third, and that's going to end the game. 
Well, the Indians answer with a three-up, three-down inning of their own there, and Colin hangs on to win by the final score of four to three. As that inning kind of indicative of the way the season has gone so far for the Indians. We'll take a break and be back with more right after this on the ICC Sports Network. Another great Saturday at college football. You're always pushing yourself. There's no time to rest. You keep moving forward. The only thing better than your last accomplishment is your next. What's next? What's next? What's next? So, Allie, what's next? I guess we'll see. Find a bank that's as excited about your future as you are. A bank that asks, What's next? Renaissance Bank. Understanding you. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Your final score here. Cole Lynn picks up the win. Four to three. And game one, they improved to 18 and 21 overall. More importantly, six and nine in conference play. ICC falls to 12 and 21. Unfortunately, they dip now four and 11, two games out of trying to get back in that chase for the playoffs as of right now. Brad, uh, again, the Indians just un just can't get a timely hit this season. No, and uh, again, I, and, I, and I've talked with Coach Collier, you know, over the course of this spring, uh, some, and uh, you know, it's it's the bats aren't where they normally are, you know, as far as timely hitting, as you mentioned it, uh, and and I know when fall ball, which fall ball doesn't count, but when fall ball was here, you know, we were the bats were hotter than not to, than what they are now, and and I've kind of called it situational hitting, and. Um, you know, we mentioned it earlier. We can get that runner on. Uh, we can get the, you know, the leadoff guy on with no outs. Make it even get him over to second with no outs. But for some reason, we cannot, for the life of us, drive him on around and get him from third and then on into home. Uh, yes, we do have three runs on the day. Uh, got uh, uh, one run in the first inning and then a one run in the third and then one run in the fourth. Silent since then. Nine hits to nine hits, though. It's an even matchup there as far as Cole Lynn had nine. We have nine. Um, Indians do have those two critical eras, uh, as you see on the board up there, uh, and, and that's that's critical. I'm going to say, you know, overall, though, Adam, great pitching by both staffs. Yeah. Um, you know, Bolin, Harrington, and uh, Gollett did a good job. Of course, Bolin going six and a third. Ty Wicker coming in, getting six and a third. Doing a fantastic job there. Yearwood coming in good in relief as far as the pitching is concerned. You know, I mean, you look at the board there. I mean, <laughs> uh, second inning, they scored one run. Third inning, they scored one. And fourth, they scored two. Zero runs for either team after the fourth inning. And uh, so pitching did do good. We did have good pitching, so I don't want to take anything away from pitching. But also I'm going to go back to that situational hitting, which ICC has not been good at this year. They both had uh, had good opportunities to score runs, and ICC not able to produce in this big conference uh, uh, excuse me, conference matchup today. Brad, if you go back and look at this, uh, ICC, after you talk about that fourth inning, they out hit – Cole in by one, but the difference was Cole in was able to score one run in that fourth inning extra that ICC had. ICC left runners in scoring position one, two, three times over those final five innings of play. We're going to take a break, come back with game two in about 30 minutes here on the ICC Sports Network. Cole in wins it four to three here in game one. Another great Saturday at college football. You're always pushing yourself. There's no time to rest. You keep moving forward. The only thing better than your last accomplishment is your next. What's next? What's next? What's next? So, Allie, what's next? I guess we'll see. Find a bank that's as excited about your future as you are. A bank that asks, what's next? Renaissance Bank, understanding you. 